<laughs> ah. Okay, I've unmuted. So that was the first. Uh, that was the first noise of the stream. Was just you going ah. Oh great. That was your. That was your uh, Lego death noise. Yeah. I'll be real. I never played any of those. <laughs> like I never. I never played any of the Lego games. Okay, I just want to make sure everything's. Everything's fine. All right. Um, I, I want to say I explained last time what we did, what we're doing here, but maybe I didn't. Maybe it was you. Uh, I think it was me. So why don't you go ahead? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for the thirteen months, Pyro. I can't believe I've been streaming that long. To be quite honest with you, it feels like it was just yesterday I started. But okay. <laughs> that is, that is wild. Um, but yes, what we are doing is the same thing that we do every... Uh, can I just say week, but we have our own definition of what a week is? Like, it's every week, but It's more never... like every week, asterisk, some weeks we don't do it. Yeah, like every, every, once a, a week, like how in the Bible God created the earth in six days, right? But those days might not have been days true actually how did god how did god create the earth on the second day if on the first day well wait so didn't didn't god not create the sun until like a certain day well, how are their days well i mean to be honest anything you try and argue with regards to to god can be easily explained as like it's god. he's god he he probably knows what day it is <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He doesn't need the sun for that. Also, is is my fire alarm going off in the background audible, or or is that just like? No, but I beg you, if there's a fire, to not sit and do this. Until... There's no fire. Don't worry. Okay, are you sure? Right. Okay. Well, my fire alarm goes off every day, uh, at least once a day. So if there's a fire, then uh, no one's gonna evacuate the building because. There's just, it just doesn't. Well, it's, it's not a fair, it's not a good enough warning at this point. Like uh, well, no, nobody believes there's a fire. Nobody's only the, only the tsunami alarm is being heard right now apparently. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that is. So, uh, mm. uh, it's when there's a tsunami and the alarm just goes right. tsunami and everyone has to get oh, away the from alarm, the alarm. The alarm just says says it. Okay. Yeah, the well, alarm. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> It's, it's no so fire, just smoke. Like, well, okay, so the backstory is that in my apartment building has really sensitive smoke detectors. So people will be like cooking and one wisp of smoke will come out of the pan and then the fire alarm goes off. Um, so that's kind of the issue. Oh, are you getting more Yachi berries? I just thought I'd hit the button that said fertilize. I, I thought stuff might have still been growing. How many Yachi berries did I end up with? Uh, from Mother Dearest all that time ago. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's, that was over a year ago now, and it's still so memorable you to have, me. You have a lot of other ones, too. Lots of window berries and kebia berries and aka berries. But no, no thing quite as many as the other. Do, do you remember in Pokemon, uh, sorry, in, in Sinnoh, there's that flower shop that's like, yeah, you can have this mirror. It costs 100 berries. Yes. They, and Diamond they, and Pearl, they would ask for like 500. They toned something. them down massively in Platinum. And then I want to say in um, BDSP, they actually changed it a, a lot, a lot. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's let's look that up. Uh, okay. While I'm doing that, why don't you spin the why, wheel? Let's spin the wheel. Oh, we, have, we never even explained what we're doing. But yeah, okay, we'll spin the wheel. Let's or just you can explain what you're doing. Yeah. No, no, no one cares to the wheel. Okay. <laughs> no one needs to know what we're doing. Okay, I'm hoping for Ghost because, you know, it's like the 28th of October. Like, it's Halloween. So let's see what Halloween thing we're getting. Right. Like how the, the, the witches fly on the brooms. Okay. In BDSP, they don't flying. I can see the chat flying. Flying. Okay. 
I I actually I actually like flying. I feel good about flying. Flying is actually my favorite type. It's not my favorite type, but I feel like we have a decent shot at doing well with flying because there's actual good flying types. Uh, let me open PK Hex. Hold on. Yeah, I'm also um, gonna open PK Hex. So so the the story with the flower shop is that in BDSP they give out stickers instead of accessories. I don't know what stickers are. Are they oh, ball they're seals? seals? Yeah. Except they're called stickers in BDSP. Um, the most they ask for is 10 of a berry. In Platinum, the most they ask for is 100 of a berry. And in Diamond and Pearl, it's 250 is the most they ask for. Yeah, why not? Which right? is absurd. So, so for reference, um, in my casual playthrough of Platinum, I did a lot of berry farming. Uh, I played the game for about a month straight, just literally like every day farming berries and the most berries i got of one type was like 50. so you would have to spend a lot of time grinding the berries in order to actually have enough and you cannot um cheese it by advancing the clock because the game will know you're a filthy dirty cheater and it will lock you out of uh the, the berries will stop growing. So, yeah, that's cool. That, that, uh, anyway, I, I, I see you making, I see you making Gliscor. Well, I mean, I you figured... can't stop me. We're, so my plan with Gliscor is to run a choice band earthquake. Okay. Uh, I can. Obviously, I'll put other moves on it in case we end up with like an opposing flying lead, but like, Come on, this I is the perfect time to use Choice Band Earthquake. I was about score. to say Choice Band Earthquake in flying, and then I remembered we are the ones who have to use only flying types, not the opponents. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, you thought for a second that I was uh, really stupid, but no, no. <laughs> You're actually really smart. Okay, so if we're using our favorites, then uh, I'm going to use Vespaquen. Oh, God. <laughs> I genuinely think Gliscor is of, uh, like... Earthquake spam is obviously fantastic for this, but Gliscor getting stab earthquakes is just like, come on, you know? Yeah. Um, so. I would recommend. What would be a good lead to pair with Gliscor? Special attacker? I would say actually either Gyarados or Salamence to start with the Intimidate. I was about to say Salamence. Yeah. But Gyarados would also be a good option. I mean, they're both such solid Which picks, one... we should probably use both. Which yeah yeah yeah, but which one out of those two is a better pairing with Gliscor? That's my question. Um, possibly Gyarados, since Gliscor can get rid of electric types. It doesn't redirect them though, so it's kind of like. <laughs> yeah. Um, my feeling is that if electric types come out on the field, they will probably go for Gyarados, because they won't go for Gliscor. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. The, the thing about... Do I even need any other moves? Besides like, Earthquake? Like, Earthquake and Rock Slide. And do, I rock need, slide. do I need anything else? Like... Yes. D do I? Ice Fang? For what specifically, Flygon? For if they're for those double Flygon leads? <laughs> I I guess I'm I keep thinking we need something for dragon types, but I guess I don't know why I'm thinking that. You could give it Fire Fang for ice types. I would just use Rock Slide. That's yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I might just give it X Scissor because I don't know why not. I don't know why I would, but I don't know why I wouldn't. You know what I mean? I could just give it. I, oh, I'll give it Aerial Ace. For, you know, never missing. Okay, that's that set. That's that's done. This Gliscor is finished. Boom. So now let's actually look at the Pokemon that are available, because I've known this whole time that there's no way I'm not using Choice Band Earthquake Gliscor when it's flying types. So let me actually look at the flying types that are available. Oh my god, you know what, we're being stupid here. We're, we're, how quaint. How quaint of are me. Are we being stupid? How quaint 
to be picking Gyarados when Zapdos is an option. I was about to say, why aren't we using Zapdos? I think or... we should definitely be using Zapdos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we need a fourth team member, unless you had something in mind. No, that's what I mean. Like, we should definitely be using Zapdos. Uh, so... And Gliscar feels really quaint among this team of, like, powerful Pokemon, but I still think Choice Band Earthquake is... Gliscor is a power... Gliscor's good. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels so quaint, you know? Next to, like, Salamence, Dragonite, and, uh, and Zapdos. Which, I think we've just decided those are our Pokemon, right? Like, there's no reason to, to weigh this up. Like, we're not bringing Ultras or Charizard, are we? You know? Yeah. No, I agree. Okay, so I'm thinking Gyarados as a lead and then Salamence as my second because Gyarados has a greater weakness to Stealth Rock. Okay. That's so, the only reason. So I'm grabbing Zapdos then? Yeah. Fine by me. Zapdos. Uh, I will not be running a uh, Choice Band Zapdos actually. Ah, oh, pressure or pressure? God, I love legendary Pokemon. Pressure or pressure? Okay, let me look at Zapdos' stats really quickly. I can't tell if I just want to run a modest one or if I want to run a timid one. Probably timid. You always want speed, right? Like, you always want speed. Yeah. It sucks no, to not I, have I, access to any flying moves, though, if I recall correctly. Zapdos doesn't get Hurricane or even Air Slash until later generations. Okay, so what am I giving this Gyarados? Waterfall? Actually, you're giving it the Gyarados moveset, right? You're giving it Waterfall, Ice Fang, Earthquake. And then... yeah, water, yeah, Waterfall, Ice Fang, Ice Fang, Earthquake, and then I have one more move to just basically... Crunch, I guess? Pick something random. Crunch... Gyarados doesn't learn Crunch. Oh my god, you're right, it doesn't get into Oros. We're still in the Gyarados can't get Crunch era. That's right, I keep forgetting because it feels like it's such a it's such a natural move for Gyarados. You keep forgetting have. because it makes no sense. Yeah, I know. They didn't want to make it too powerful. They failed because it is too powerful. Yeah. Um, okay, so my options are I could give it Stone Edge, which is a little stupid. I could give it I could give it, like, Giga Impact, but I feel like that's also a little silly. Um, does it just get Rock Slide instead of Stone Edge? I think it does, right? Gyarados just gets everything it wants. It doesn't get Rock Slide, but it does get Stone Edge. <laughs> Wait, really? It doesn't get- that's like the one move Gyarados can't learn. <laughs> nah, it'd be too strong. It'd be too strong with Rock Slide. You know what should get Rock Slide instead? Charmander. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm genuinely like not sure what to give this thing uh, outside of those. Um, bounce. <laughs> if only bounce wasn't so god awful, you know. Yeah. Does it? If only bounce was. I mean, does it need another move? Let, let me think, what can we not hit with ground, water, and ice? I mean, you can hit everything with water and ice except uh, water types. So ground, health... You know what definitely. I could give it? I could give it protect. You, Yeah, you could. I'm not sure how useful protect would be. No, 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 very. Not... yeah. I was thinking about useful... You, I was thinking about use cases for Protect, and they just kind of started narrowing as I continued to think. Um, Honestly. Do I, do I just give it Giga Impact, like, genuinely? Yeah, I would just... I mean, I guess Return is technically better than Giga Impact. You're never gonna click it. You know, like, you're never gonna click that, regardless. I know, but, like... I don't know what to Iron do Head? otherwise. Iron Head helps you out against those pesky, bulky ice types. It's like the only yeah, other thing. Yeah, I'm giving thing. it return. I'm giving it return. I, uh, I'll stick with return. Oh, um, uh, Splash. Oh, that's a good idea. 
Uh, oh wait, the scary does have special attack EVs. Oh no, that's not what you want. <laughs> it's never what uh, you want. Um, I'm just gonna. Is there literally anything to give Gyarados other than attack and speed? Dude, I forgot to change it. It's so over for me. I fear. I uh, I hit view instead of set, and now I have to do it again. That's so tragic for you. Um, but yeah, Pido, yeah. uh, Gyarados did not get Crunch until Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It didn't even get it in X and Y when they gave it a dark type Mega, which meant I had to use Bite. <laughs> If it wanted a stab move. I mean, I obviously go for Thunderbolt on, on Zapdos. It's just, what else do I give it? Does it need other moves? Is it going to use anything else? Oh my god, it gets Heat Wave? Yo! <laughs> Bolt Beam at home. <laughs> Bolt Beam at home. Um... I think I just put the other two slots... I mean, it gets Air Cutter. You know, I could grab Tailwind. No, this isn't... No, stop it! This isn't VGC! This is... You're fighting against people with, like, Badoo. Stop it. <laughs> you don't need Tailwind. This isn't VGC. Um, um, I gave Gyarados a Life Orb. That's probably the best, right? That's what we're doing. Yeah. I've given a I've given Zapdos a life orb. I'm not really seeing a point now. Do I just do I just do I just wait? I thought I had a Salamence set from when we did Dragon. Guess I don't. Oh my God! If my fire alarm goes off again, I'm actually going to. No, we, we haven't. We done never Dragon. did Dragon. <laughs> Why am I stupid? We did. Uh... I had a flying We did on Psychic last time, and my, my oh, Latios was out for so long that I just forgot that we didn't do Dragon. Okay. Um, I just pay respect to Gyarados? Okay, sure thing. Okay, here's, here's an actual genuine question. Do I make the Salamence Jolly instead of Adamant? Um, yeah, probably. It's always better to have speed. I hope you're stretching and hydrating, by the way. I made. I mean, I made the Gyarados. I made the Gyarados adamant. Gyarados isn't going to always speed anything anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's just because I don't feel like Gyarados having speed is very valuable. Do I? All right. Oh wait. I wait. I, I can't it? give. I can't give Salamence a life orb because isn't there like item clause? Only. Didn't we find that out last time? Only on the individual. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember last time the only issue was that your Pokemon both had life orbs, but it was fine if only one Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant, I thought you meant only in single player. No, not, no, 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 no. Not that. Um, so what item do I give this? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I feel like if life orb is your only, I mean, life orb and then what, like muscle band on the other one? I don't know. You're not allowed two life orbs. Right, hear me out here. Life orb on the on the Salamence, and then Yachi Berry on the <laughs> I'd like to unhear you out. Okay, fine. Um, I'll give Gyarados something else. I'll give it uh uh I'll give it a Paradise. It's you know what? I I'm giving Gyarados a Lumberry. I it just gets it will get so fucked by status. Just any status. Just destroy it. Yeah. Just, just it's fucked by status. So I'm giving it a lumberry. Like confusion, it's gone. Burn, it's gone. Um paralysis, it's probably gone. Freeze, it's never gonna get frozen because it won't survive the ice type. Oh well, I, I don't know. Actually okay. probably. Okay, my Pokemon are done. <laughs> um because there's well, not you actually... did that so fast. Well, oh, I knew what I wanted oh, for Gliscor, and Zapdos doesn't learn any moves. Wait, did I give it? I gave item? Gyarados. I gave Gyarados return without giving it friendship. Uh oh, that was almost a that was almost a big oopsie. Give it frustration. But it's fine. That would be a huge troll moment, <laughs> but I'm not doing that. Make it hate your gods. I, you know, frankly, I would rather not. Okay, um... Let's see, what do we- what do we got here? So, Salamence's moves... 
Salamence's moves are gonna be... Uh... Um... Um? Salamence's moves... They're gonna be... You guess Outrage. Yeah, you know, Outrage, <laughs> if but also gets insane. Earthquake. Yeah. Outrage, Earthquake. It's a shame we're not doing Gen 3, because then you could run Head and Power Flying. Do I give it Outrage, or do I give it, like, Dragon... Dragon something? Claw is almost definitely enough and better, because it's it's doubled, so you can't click on who you're targeting if, if you go Outrage. Yeah. Um... Aerial Ace to deal with double team spammers. Yeah. We have so much to deal with double team spammers. PK Hex's suggested moves are Iron Defense, Captivate, Sleep Talk, Earthquake. That's the set. That's the what set. are they cooking? That's the set. What are they cooking? That's the Is set. it random? Steel Wing Mimic, Zen Headbutt, Hidden Power. This shit is AI generated. <laughs> who, who the fuck made that? I feel like they need to fix everything about that's, that. That's the set. That's the set that just works. It just it's works. not the set. It doesn't work. It works. Ominous Wind? This thing can learn Ominous Wind? Really? Um, just, pretty much like, anything with wings can learn Ominous Wind. Like, Zapdos had the option. I'm, you know what would be cool is if anything that had fly, that was a flying type could learn fly. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh... I mean... I don't even know what to do for a fourth move. Do I give it, like, Fire Fang? Um... It, it, it gets Rock Slide. Oh, it does get Rock Slide? Yeah, I know... Okay, then I'll, then I'll do Rock Slide. I know Salmon's gets Rock Slide. Right, I'm gonna see if I can enter the room or if it's just gonna kick me out. Should be fine. I, I updated my DS last time. So. It worked last time. It worked last You're... time. Well, if it worked last time, I don't see why it wouldn't work this time. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'm... I'm much like a hacker. Alright. I'm in. I just uh, turned on my DS. Let's see if it works. Well, mine works. Yours has worked every single time, so I'd be very upset if it didn't. What type did we get? We got flying. Where is my charger? For my DS. <laughs> it actually is your DS. I don't know why you're being like, for uh, my DS. No, it is my DS. Hold it on, is your I think DS. It's, in, it's in my drawer. Hold on, I gotta go get it. So how is everyone today? How is everyone in this in this world of birds? What's everyone's favorite? We don't have a single bird. I just realized. Oh no no, Zapdos is a bird. I just woke up. I am so proud of you. Sometimes um, people don't wake up, and that is that is sad. Did anyone know that this room doesn't have the bumping noise when you run into walls? That's weird. So, I think I I think I might just not have a charger. That could be very problematic. Yeah, mildly problem. What the hell? Where did it go? It's gone. I it just disappeared. I swear I just Oh no, it's plugged in. I'm smart. It's plug. You know why I can find it? Because I was looking in the drawer. It's plugged in. That's like me hanging up the phone to my mom so I can go find my phone. We've all done that. Wow, I'm, I'm really good at this. Okay. Uh, okay. In my defense of not thinking of Zapdos as a bird, uh, I'm used to Zapdos being a fish. What What's are you a Pokemon Fool's Gold player? Yes, Pokemon Fool's Gold is now uh, is now part of my bloodstream. What's weird to me about it's now canon. What's weird to me is that the name Zapdos in my head is like bird, but there's nothing in that name or any of their names that at all means bird. 
But all of them. Uh, does birds have two wings? Uh huh. Done. Molt. Birds molt. Yep. And then Articuno. Birds can't go to the Arctic because it's too cold for them. Exactly. But they did name a uh, they did name a, a new pterodactyl thing, um, an Aerodactylus or something like that a few years ago, which I thought was cool. I should be <laughs> jumping. Sorry, I just remembered that the that they named a scientist neurologist named a brain thing a few years ago. Um. <laughs> Uh, they named it Sonic Hedgehog, because there's like things in your brain that oh, yeah. are called hedgehogs. The, the Sonic, isn't there like a Sonic the Hedgehog protein or something? Yeah, it's like a, it, it's like something, but it actually causes a pretty common, <laughs> actually causes a pretty common disorder. So doctors have had a few times where they've had to, they've had to presumably tell someone's parents like, I'm sorry, your son has. A deficiency with his sonic hedgehogs. <laughs> and I feel Incoming text message. I feel so bad for the people who have to deliver that information. Right. Speaking of delivering, this person just said they'll deliver defeat to us elegantly and speedily. What do you think what do you think their Pokemon's gonna be? It's gonna be like a Munchlax. Grimer. Collector Newman and Waiter Xander. I was really hoping for Oldman. Uh, this is not. Did we start on level yeah. 50? Yeah. Hold on. How do we throw? What? How do we, do, can we? Can we? Can we forfeit? Yeah, we can just win this fight and then forfeit, right? And then we can start properly. Wait. What's the? It, uh, it must not have run. It must not have reset because we're still like. We didn't have to disconnect, we didn't need to refriend or anything like that, so we're still on... Uh, this is battle number 50, yeah. Just hit run and... Does it work? And forfeit. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Okay, uh, that, that doesn't count. What? <laughs> save the last battle video! <laughs> what do we save us forfeiting it? <laughs> What's annoying is that that battle was like really well set up for us as well. Flag type didn't even get one win. God, I know. Flag type is the worst. That didn't even occur to me that that would be a problem. That. That was. <laughs> that was really funny. But it. I. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be the issue. Yeah, uh, if we're not seeing, like, Badoos and stuff here, then, you know, things are wrong. Yeah. Oh, twins. Everyone in this room is a twin. Uh, <laughs> I can't afford to lose round one. My wife and boy are waiting for me. Like, what do you- So is the- is the canon of the battle tower that, like, they're in the same position we are? So, like, if they're in round one, that means that they they just made it to round one? I have absolutely no idea how this place works. Okay, this, this is, is more, more like, like it. it. Yeah. This is more like it. Oh, imagine just having well, regular Pokeballs. Oh, God. I'm suddenly regretting Intimidate. Salamence has it too. <laughs> this is not escapable. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to sit through so much text. This is gonna be a long this is gonna be a long stream, guys. I hope you all enjoy this. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a day. I really wish that the first like fourteen battles weren't so boring. So the first 14 battles are generally just going to be I click Earthquake. And I also click Earthquake. <laughs> okay, this Leap should live, right? Come on, the Leap. Yeah! The Leap tanks the Earthquake like a beast. <laughs> it only tanks it because of the... Because it got weakened by it being a double battle. Yeah. But, you know, it I did... wonder if it will tank this Earthquake. Probably Focus not. Focus Ban? No. Rip. Is there any funny less than 100% accuracy moves on your guys' team? Yeah, we like all have Rock Slide. 
And by all of us, I mean like two of our Pokemon have Rock Slide. I have Heat Wave on Zapdos. And these guys are <laughs> these guys are not ready for Earthquake, let me tell you. Uh, you've got Ice Fang in your Gyarados, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, those that are less than 100% accurate moves. If we lose to another less than 100% accurate move missing, I'm only using 100% accurate moves from now on. Exclusively, Aerial Ace, um, Shockwave. I didn't say never miss moves, I said 100% accurate moves. The Bright Powder Let's Garchomp in my pocket. <laughs> Bright Powder Garchomp with Sand Veil and Double Team. Can't they break out a guard jump with double team? <laughs> right, I mean, that's. And there's the fire alarm again. That's 149 to the way there, right? Like. Yeah, and it only took three minutes. I do like that flying is my favorite type, but we actually have, like, none of my particular favorite flying types apart from Gliscor. What are your favorite flying types? Besides Gliscor? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty basic, so I like Staraptor a lot. Staraptor is not a basic Pokemon to like. Staraptor's cool. Everyone likes Staraptor. Yeah, that's what makes it basic. <laughs> yeah, but everyone likes Staraptor because Staraptor's cool. Staraptor like... is incredibly cool, yes. I'm, I'm kind of like... sad that the power level of this is so high that, like, Staraptor is unnecessary. I think things being basic because a lot of people like them is silly because if a lot of people like something, it probably deserves the hype. Unless it's, like, cryptocurrency. Okay, if you Ice Fang by Brava, I'll take a Pachirisu. Okay. If this Ice Fang misses, I'm never using Ice Fang again. Well, what are you going to use on Gyarados instead? Ice Beam? Yeah. Special Gyarados. Wait, does it get Avalanche, actually? <laughs> it might get Avalanche. Yeah, it does. It does get Avalanche. <laughs> well, there you go. You can use Avalanche, you know. So every time I come up with a... I say something like that, that is like, you know, slightly a doofy set. I am reminded of the uh, analysis on Smogan for Koraiden. Because it comes to my head every single time. It's just like you have numerous dragon options. Um, you can use Dragon Claw, you can use Breaking Swipe, you can use Outrage if you're a crackhead. And I have never <laughs> lost that in my head. Like. You could you could use Outrage if you're a crackhead. You could use Avalanche like... if you're a crackhead. I don't know why if you're a crackhead was what they went for. But it was I like how Smogon's set for Wobbuffet is called Oh no, it's Wobbuffet. <laughs> Wait, I I'm going on Smogon right now to see if that's there still. Okay, this could be a problem for Gliscor. This is so sad. Can we get an F in the chat? <laughs> this is Gliscor's nightmare. I guess I just switch. Like, you know, casual reminder that I'm choiced. <laughs> it does not it does not say you can use outrage if you're a crackhead anymore. It was um it was not the actual page on Smogon, it was in the Smogon forums, the initial Oh, analysis. it was in the Smogon forums, okay. Oh the analysis. Okay, cool. And it should Got still it. be there. If, if it was on the forums, then it's probably still there, yeah. Yeah. You could probably pretty easily find it by just googling Koraiden Smogan and check, taking, like, the, the third result instead of the first one. But I don't know if it's still there. I just... Well, I, I went on the... I went on the strategy Pokedex. Let's see. Um, Pokemon Koraiden Smogon forums. Let's see. Uh... Quick heads up, you're going to be seeing the same three moves in Close Combat or Collision Course if you want Asterisk, Dragon Claw, or Outrage if you're a crackhead, <laughs> and Heavy Slam, as Dual Stab is all Karaidon really needs, and Heavy Slam is almost mandatory for dealing with Fluttermane. What's, what does this Asterisk go to? Nothing. It doesn't, it doesn't go to anything. Oh, that's weird. But yeah, there you go. See, I didn't make that up. No, I didn't say you made it you up. You can use Outrage said. if you're a crackhead. I thought also. they removed it because because if it was in the actual Smogon strategy Pokedex, 
it would be really silly to keep it there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I... Uh... Okay, so this was years and years and years ago, and I only ever did one. But I edited one of those. It was about uh, Kingdra in uh, Black and White. I'm not credited, which is upsetting, on the page. But I have a file on my computer that's still called Random Crap About Kingdra. Basically, what it... they gave me the raw text file, and I had to go through and fix things to make it all consistent and grammatically correct with the rest of Smog, and it was all very interesting. I would be so good at that job, because I'm an English student. So I thought the same, but the problem is that the way I type is very unique. I put a lot of unnecessary commas in. I type the way I talk. Um, which means I... I don't actually type properly at all. I type realistically, so to speak, which is not the same. I'm very good at removing unnecessary commas. We would be a great team. Okay. We would, if the two of us teamed up, there would be the perfect amount of commas. Well, what you do to sign up for it, basically, is the reason I, uh, also probably the reason I wasn't credited, is you have to just write, I think it's three of them, and you have to do a good job. Um... And if you write three of them, and then they get looked at by people who have already been approved, then you get approved, and then you become one of one of the approved. I'm really not liking how much this choice band is like not doing. You know what I mean? Like I didn't take a Del Caddy. I don't know how to it's feel Del about Caddy, that. It's Del Caddy, known for being known for not having a single stat over like 65. I would. I don't. I don't even know what to say after known for being. Like, what? What is Delcaddy known for being? Known exactly? for being a strangely difficult Pokemon to catch early on in XD. Sure. I don't know if it's actually known for that. I'm sorry. I hate <laughs> to be that guy. Anyway, um, I would do that kind of work, like edit stuff for grammar, if they paid me. Yeah, they don't pay you. Like, I'm not even kidding. I... Like, the only context in which I would edit stuff... Where it wasn't, like, me doing it for a friend... Would be if I got paid for it, because I feel like I deserve to get paid for it. But, I don't know. Like, I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't just donate my time. That did more to Cacnea than it did to Azumarill? What? Why? Um, Azurel has hired... <laughs> Kakna right? resisted it, what happened? Is Kakna that terrible? Yes. Oh, okay. Understandable. It's Kakna. I, I, Kakturn needs an evolution. I would love that because I actually really like Kakna and Kakturn. So I would love if Kakturn had an evolution. I've actually had an idea for a Kakturn evolution before, which basically leans into it being more of a more of a desert outlaw look so you can tip the hat more over its face and you can give it um sort of like a, a, you can give it almost like a, a cloak that's all torn and made of clearly grassy materials and you can just lean into the desert outlaw thing why not right but i don't know what you'd really do with it to actually fix how garbage character is you know what i wish I wish people still played the other metagames to the older generations, because I think it would be really fun to play, like, Gen 4 NU and use Blossom on a team. <laughs> Do you think that? Yeah. If I were, if I were, like, a competitive player, I would be that, that person who uses Pokemon that, oh, Reporter Marble's back, let's go. I would be that person that uses Pokemon nobody else uses, because I like underrated, using underrated Pokemon. They're normally not I'm underrated so much as they are bad. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean like, Pokemon that aren't bad, they're just underused. You could use Blossom, if you're a crackhead. I am. <laughs> I am a crackhead. That's a quote for the ages. Driftblim is NU. This is so unfair. It's because it's bad. <laughs> but it's but it's not. It's just good. It's good if you 
care about how cool it is. Okay, Luxray being a new, that's deserved. Luxray sucks ass. I hate Luxray. I also am not a not a fan of Luxray. Luxray is so cool. If it were, you know. I just it, generally don't like Luxray's design. I think its head is weird and bulbous. That's fair. I think Luxray is the is the most like I don't know how to word this. It's the Pokemon that's given the 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 least It's the Pokemon that it's the Pokemon that deserved more the most. Yeah. That's that's what I'm gonna say. I don't know if that's true. It, it has Flareon's this right there. <laughs> okay, actually that's true. But Lux I actually don't like Flareon that much, I'm not gonna lie. But it is the Pokemon Luxray... that deserves the it deserves more the most, you know? Yeah, but Luxray deserves more a lot. I feel like it would be incredibly popular if it had, like, a good move pool. It already is incredibly but... popular, and it's absolute ass. Yeah, exactly. It would be, like, one of the most popular Pokemon in the generation if it was good. Because in... It's available early on in the games, and it's a Pokemon that a lot of people would like just design wise which a lot of people do already and i think it would be like a staple member of like every person's team like every casual gen 4 player's team if it was a good pokemon it already is Kinda everyone like, already uses it yeah i used it in my playthrough of gen 4 and it was so bad that i had to like justify continuing to use it by i don't want to raise another pokemon like, the only reason I kept using it was out of laziness, because it sucked. Anyway. Luxray is already super, po super popular and is bad. What is your point? Yeah, I agree with that. Luxray is just... My terrible. point is that... It'd be really easy to buff by just that... giving it Zing Zap as well. My point is that it would be, like, it wouldn't just be super popular. It would be unusually popular. Like, very popular if it was good. Like, like even more popular than it already is, and it's already really popular. So ah, you need to take out Astravia for me. It's just not possible. You know, after like, the ten turns of Intimidate. I like how much Reggie Gigas gets roasted in all of the uh, Smogon strategy guides. Well, Reggie Gigas is terrible. I mean. It's not terrible. It just has a terrible ability. Well, yeah, but its ability is so bad that it's terrible. Regigigas does less damage than Delcaddy. With its ability. Like, that's not okay. I like how it, uh... In, in Sword and Shield, it actually got... It actually got a, uh... A useful... Actually got a useful, um, Devil's presence. Yeah, with, uh, with Weezing. Galarian Weezing, yeah. All Weezing That's have, cool. have neutralizing gas, I'd like to say. Oh. They introduced in... it as being a big thing for Galarian Weezing, but they added it to regular Weezing, too. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> is regular Weezing available easily in Sword and Shield? I mean, as compared to Galarian Weezing? No, not at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's probably why. It's in the Scarlet Violet DLC, though. I hate that I can't hit that Deli Bird, and I hate that you have to use a Rock Slide, and I hate that you're gonna miss. <laughs> like... Isn't it funny how. Oh, you don't have Gyarados Rock Slide. Have rock slide? Uh, I'm, I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna myself. waterfall the deli bird, and we'll see if it works. I can't believe that Krabby right now. <laughs> Krabby is BMing you. Does Gyarados really never get Rock Slide? Like, ever? Or does it have it nowadays? I- I just- I- I- It never gets it. It never has access to Rock Slide. I don't know how to feel. I was so sure Gyarados had Rock Slide. <laughs> Why does it not does, have it? Does... Spinda gets Rock Slide! Sfeel gets Rock Slide! Bagon gets Rock Slide! Chimchar gets Rock Slide! 
Everybody gets Rock Slide except Gyarados. I used Return on the Krabby. I'm just saying. Because it, it's funny. I guarantee it will definitely matter. Darkrai gets Rock Slide. Muna. Muna gets Rock Slide. Muna. Ah, what were you saying? What were you saying? It won't matter. The Krabby survived. I just meant as in, like, it won't really matter what you click. Because Waterfall oh, would probably... Yeah. Yeah. It's... Wow. Regigigas is untiered yeah. in X and Y. Yeah. Wow. To be fair, Articuno is also Reggie... untiered pretty frequently. Regigigas has more utility in Hackmons than it does in regular gameplay. Go check out... Not that that doesn't make sense, but, you know. Go check out Glastrier. Why? Because it's also untiered, but if you look at its stats, you'll be like, why the hell is that untiered? Why is it untiered? Because it's a slow ice type. Oh. Uh, but it's yeah, a slow ice type fair. that has like 170 attack and a base 130 <laughs> power spread move. <laughs> My favorite part is how they've never given Gyarados good flying stab. There's a few Pokemon they just avoid giving... Um... Well, this is familiar. There's a few Pokemon they just avoid giving good stab moves to it, for various My opinion things. as to why is because Gyarados is not meant to really be a flying type. Like, it's meant... It's given the flying type more because they wanted to give it a second type than because it's actually, like, meant to be a, a flying Pokemon. So giving it flying type stab moves wouldn't make sense. For its design. I still but, think like, Gyarados should get its own signature flying move that's like a baby version of Dragon Ascent. That's not a bad idea. But the the thing with the thing with Gyarados is because it's a Gen 1 Pokemon, a lot of like those Pokemon just have weird typings because they like in in modern generations, if something like Gyarados was introduced, they totally would have made it Water Dragon. But well, they made it water flying, I think, because in Gen 1, dragon types are, like, it would have been pseudo-legendaries. Or just legendaries. It would have been batshit in Gen 1, is the reason. So in Gen 1, yeah. water dragon... Well, it would only have been weak to dragon. Um, And the only dragon type move that they'd introduced was dragon rage. So I forgot that... Gen 1 did, doesn't have any dragon type moves. Yeah, so Gyarados would have no weaknesses, and if you look at Gyarados' Gen 1 stats, that's not okay. Um, yeah, Gyarados pretty much only exists the way it is because of Gen 1. Yeah, I mean, Gyarados' Gen 1 stats it had 100 special, which is high. Like, that's a big number in Gen 1. Obviously not crazy, but it's a big number. Which meant it could actually use all of these weird... Like, that's why it has, like, Fire Blast and stuff, because it could use them all back then. But yeah, it should definitely be a dragon. It's just, it would have been, it would have been so stupid. <laughs> Speaking of so stupid, I really think this Gliscor was a terrible pick. I think I should have gone for Moltres. <laughs> so you just wanted to use your favorite, is what you're saying. I thought it'd be a lot stronger. It is choice banned. Why is it not doing more damage? Are you sure you actually gave it the choice ban? I am worried I didn't. I feel like I definitely messed up something with it. Did you give it the choice ban? And my other question is, did you mutate it from something with 252 uh, special attack EVs and didn't change the special attack? Oh, it's dead. Right, hold on. Let me look. Choice band. And I mean, if you look at that attack and speed, you can tell that that's where it's specced into. And it's the first thing I made, so... No, it's just... Hmm? It just sucks. It, it just sucks? It just sucks. Dang. Rip, I guess. To be fair, Earthquake is being weakened by it being doubles. It's still doing good yeah, damage. Yeah, it might be just because Earthquake's getting weakened by doubles. Okay. I really want to play through, like, Platinum again with a team of only NU ranked Pokemon. I mean, some NU Pokemon are actually pretty good in the main game, whereas some OU Pokemon are hot trash. I... 
I think I've talked about this before. My my planned team of Torterra, Vespaquen, Mismagius, Octillery, Pachirisu, and uh, Drapion. I cannot stress how much Pachirisu will just frustrate you with being trash. <laughs> That's the point. As if nothing else on that team is going to frustrate me with being trash. Everything else on that team is at least like a real with, Pokemon. Uh, I want to use all Pokemon I like. I could replace it with Magnezone. Magnezone would also be a good option. And it, like, it's better. By it would probably be better, amount. yeah. Because Pachirisu, you wouldn't actually... However, I used Magnezone in my playthrough of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Black 2. So... Pachirisu is actually a fantastic example of what I'm- Oh, I love it when you get a Crushkin like this. But Pachirisu is actually a fantastic example of what I'm talking about, where it's like sometimes Pokemon in-game suck, but they have a genuine competitive use. Like, Pachirisu was a meta pick. You know, like, I, I forget. I feel bad, but I forget the name of the guy who was running the Pachirisu. But like, I mean, we talked about that. Yeah. The, the guy you were in the patch of Risu. Yeah, it wasn't his favorite or anything like that. It was just, it, it really fit the the team. It fit the role wasn't, he needed. Wasn't there like a an article that came about how he used patch Risu because it was his favorite? There's so and, many and people. And that wasn't the reason. There's so many people who go on about that being the reason still to this day. They're just like, oh, you can just use your favorites. Look at what Karen said in Gen 2. I what? like what Karen says in Gen 2. Karen and Jen, uh, I, I actually agree with her. I'm not gonna lie. Karen is commenting on how Silver treats his Pokemon. She's not commenting on the concept of a meta. No, but I I think that there's I like that that as like a your friend told you you suck because you wanted to use a Pachirisu in your playthrough. And you're both 10 years old. And then you can be like, look, Karen said it's okay. You know? <laughs> Sage I and might Park, replace... Yes, thank you. I could replace Pachirisu on my team with something else, but I'm struggling to find something that's like... that fits what I want. Uh, you which don't... is like an electric type, you basically. You don't need other Pokemon. If you need an electric type, just use a Raichu. No, I don't like Raichu. But it's great, you can use Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, Focus oh. Blast. <gasps> no, okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna replace it with Rotom. I was gonna use Rotom, but because I really like Rotom, but I don't wanna replace it with Rotom because I don't want two Pokemon on my team to have a common type. I want it to be all different types. Yeah, and Rotom is always electric if ghost only in Gen 4. Changing Rotom's form made it not electric ghost in Gen 4, sad face. I mean, you could still use... You know what? Actually, this means that Rotom Fan is at its height in Gen 4. Sure. Why? Because its ability actually does something in Gen 4. That's actually true. Rotom Fan's ability does not do much in Gen 4. Air Balloon Rotom Fan. Hear me out. Air Balloon Rotom Fan. Alright, that is seven. Seven? One seventh of the way there. That's so much BP, I'm sus. Do we normally get that much BP for round one? Maybe you do. That's a good question. That just feels like a lot of BP. Whatever. Whatever. We'll win 49 straight battles, it won't even matter. I like how you're saying that like it's a joke, but there's actually a decent chance that we will win. Well, no, no, we... We, we will. We literally will. We did it last time, so we'll do it this time. Easy clap. Exactly. The pro okay, what... What... What Pokemon would give similar coverage to that... Uh, to an electric type? I actually... I also am... I don't feel that strongly about Drapion as the sixth, but I could replace that with something else as well. Uh, use Electivire, because it sucks. Um, Electabuzz I, is yeah. honestly about as good as Electivire. Except I don't like Electabuzz. Excuse me. This is slander. Magmortar is better than Electivire. Is both. Okay. They can be friends. 
It's reporter also, Marvel I like again. Like, I like how you're like, uh, Hatcherisu is gonna frustrate you with how bad it is, and I'm using Miss, or I'm using Vespaquen on my team. So one of the first things I ever streamed was uh, Pokemon White to with only flying types, and Vespaquen hard carried. Like Vespaquen did like Elisa's gym and stuff like that. Defend order, heal order, are really good. Uh. All right, I guess I'll get rid of. I'm rock sliding. It's whatever. Okay. I'm not stupid enough to use earthquake here. One black and white with only Dino trust. That is. What moves does Dino get? Because I've been looking for another like. Obviously, Fool's Gold is eating up ninety percent of my of my life. But once Fool's Gold is done, I would like to do more solo runs, and I have a couple planned. Like I want to do black and white with only a Larvesta. Oh God. But what is Dino's level up moves that actually like? All right, here's an idea. Pokemon Platinum with only the six forms of Rotom. No, that would be way too easy. That would be way too easy. Pokemon Platinum with only oh, Rotom would actually be a lot of fun, though, I think. It'll be fun once you get to the point where you can change its form, but that's not, like, too far into the game, right? Uh, it's actually not even accessible in the modern day, thinking about it, so never mind. No, you can, um, use a save editor to give yourself the secret key. That's true. It's really easy to do, actually. As it should be, because it should just be accessible. Yeah, true. What is your Gyarados' I... um, attack stat? I just want to see how Gliscor is comparing. It's... The Gleis uh, the Gyarados is 252 attack with a uh, um, adamant nature. Oh, I, uh, right. I meant what is the final stat? I was like, holy hell, oh. 252. <laughs> so true. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll tell you once this Munchlax stops eating. I'm just trying to figure out why Gleis is so bad. Oh, it flinched. Let's go. I can't shift to Salamence. That's not my Pokemon. Uh, 194. That's One, 147. Oh, no. She's doing oh. her best. Danielle. Dino only gets normal type, dragon type, and crunch through level up. All right, but it gets it gets a really good ability that will not make a solo run frustrating at all. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a solo run with a hustle Pokemon. Hear me out. I don't know, there have been a few okay. solo runs that I've just kind of, like, considered. But then it's like, so that the, sounds miserable. The current team that I had is weak to fire, electric, ice, and flying. So, what Pokemon do you think would fit as a sixth team member? Fire, ice, electric, flying. Those are the weaknesses. Or those are the, the most common weaknesses. Well, it's kind of ironic, because my Gliscor has super effective moves against all those types. <laughs> hmm. Gliscor, maybe, then? Gliscor I could, could be a show. A rock type could also well, work if rock types didn't type. all... A rock type could work if rock types didn't all suck. I have Probo Pass on there. Oh, true. I stand by what I said. Nobody, nobody disses my boy Probopaz. I fucking love Probopaz. Probopaz is the goat. <laughs> Probopaz is the Probopaz nose. Fan. <laughs> Stop! I like Probopaz's <laughs> giant nose. I think it's cute. I, um, I had a great time trolling a streamer, a shiny hunter, a few weeks ago. It was hunting for Jangmoto. But it's like, whatever. But they were occasionally nose pass around, and they were complaining that the nose pass were appearing. She was complaining that the nose pass were appearing um, while she had a dragon sandwich activated. So, you know, oh, it should only be Jang Mo. And I was, you know, I was making up crap because I do that. I was talking about how, um, actually, early in development, nose pass was going to be a dragon type. Uh, it was going to be Rock Dragon. And the reason they didn't do this is because one of the developers looked at the code and saw that nose pass was going to be Rock Dragon and said, no, why the hell would we do that? Let's not do that. And so they didn't. 
but that I but I was like, and that's why it made, that's why there's all these little touches like nose pass gets boosted by dragon sandwiches, and that's why Probo Pass has that um, <laughs> has that one Pokedex entry, and I can't remember the Pokedex entry I made up, but it was just like in ancient times it had draconic powers. It has a huge nose. <laughs> uh, this Zangoose, man. This I... is really a... It's really a strategy it's got going right here. But she ended up catching her shiny nose pass before the shiny Jang Mo. And I was just like, it's because of the dragon Yo, sandwiches. Yo, shiny nose pass. I actually like shiny, shiny Probo Pass. Uh, an oh, another one of the things I made up was that this was heavily referenced in the Dragon-type Paradox Pokémon, Nimbus Nose. <laughs> and I think Nimbus Nose might be my favourite invention. Nimbus Nose. Nimbus Nose. <laughs> ah, yes. Nimb Nimbus Nose. <laughs> that sounds like a. R that sounds like it would be a real Pokémon they would they would have in. Look, all I'm saying, right, is that if the Indigo disc comes out and doesn't have Nimbus Nose, I ain't buying it. Except I've already bought it because the DLC comes in two waves that you just buy it once, but I ain't buying it. Uh, the children yearn for Nimbus Nose. The children. The children are... The children are clamoring for Nimbus the Nose. The children clamor for Nimbus Nose. I can't stress, like, I love Gliscor. I do, right? I love Gliscor so much. It's one of my favorites. But my god, I, I wish it Landorus. Was your it, it is, it is my favorite. But my god, I wish Landorus was here. Like, Landorus would just do everything Gliscor's doing right now so much better. How like, dare you say things that are entirely true? Sand attack. Sand attack? Ah. Oh. Wow. That's a real ninja esque moment right there. Gliscor good? Yeah, I love Gl Gliscor. is my favorite, but in this, I really thought it was going to do more with stab, choice band, earthquakes that had no downsides. I wonder if that crit mattered. I honestly have no idea. It depends on the EVs of this ninja esque. Landorus is just better. I'm still looking, I'm still thinking about a sixth Pokemon uh, for my. Uh, you, you just use Landorus. Land it's the best. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. In Gen 4. Yeah, Lander us? I choose us. Lander sus? Bum, 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 bum. If you hadn't already used Magnazone, I would recommend that. You could use Slugstray. Well, the... <laughs> okay, so the, the types I have that I haven't used on something else are Dark Dragon, Electric Fighting, Fire, Normal Poison, and Psychic. So I was thinking like a Psychic type. Okay. But I don't know what... What psychic types exist? Uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir's an option, honestly. Gallade is an option. I could use Gallade. You could use Gallade. Gallade's not even that bad. Uh, I'll go for Earthquake if you take out Ladian. I was tempted sure. by Rock Slide, but I don't want to get stuck into it again for no reason. Gallade yeah, is no, hot no, 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 ass. No, no, no. That's that, that's a that's an interesting. In what sense? Like a hot piece of ass or hot trash? I can't tell which one you're going for. On main. <laughs> On main. On main. I'll be real. Gallade is not. I don't like Gallade. Um, I don't like its design. I used to think it was cool, but now I don't. Gallade is everything that Gardevoir was doing, but not subtle. Like Gardevoir has all these concepts of chivalry and of, and of you know knighthood, but they're done in a more metaphorical sense. Whereas Gallade is just knight. You know, it just takes away everything that Gardevoir had. Also, I don't really like Pokemon that can only be of one gender. They kind of upset me, usually. I don't. I don't like Gal. I can't decide whether I want to use Gallade or Gardevoir. That's the the thing, I guess. I see. I was so right to stay into Earthquake. 
I was so right to Santa Earthquake. Very dangerous. Me when I why. <laughs> Relicamp makes me so sad that we never got more, uh. Maybe I should use Relicanth on my team. <laughs> Pokemon that are available in Gen 4. Yeah, I was like, you can try. But yeah, Relicanth just try. makes me always think that's like, I I'm sad Yo, we never got any more. Toxicroak! Toxicroak's perfect. Yeah, use Toxicroak. Is that sarcasm? Well, it's not a very good Pokemon, so it kind of, like, it's not terrible, but it's not, like, it fits, with it the fits your team. Of my yeah. team. Toxicroak's yeah. perfect, yeah. But uh, Relicanth makes me sad that we never got any more third fossils, like Aerodactyl. Because Relicanth's kind of a third fossil. Like, it, it, it has- it follows the theming of being like a rock type and stuff like that. It's close enough, but I don't know, I really liked Aerodactyl just being this third one, you know? I liked that. Like the only problem with adding Toxicroak is it does not resolve any of the common weaknesses, and it means that there are three weaknesses to flying on this team. Just don't be bad at the game. It's true. I, I mean, Octillery can get Ice Beam, and Probopass can beat flying types, I think, even though it's Probopass. Can I just say that I'm in love with having a paragraph that begins with, I like to have Gardevoir on my team. I can already tell it's not going to go anywhere good. Any paragraph that starts like that is always suspicious. <laughs> okay, I'm really curious. Pyro, is is the nickname you give your Gardevoir like sexy waifu, or is it like, you know, saber? Something normal. Yeah, like like what is it? <laughs> In terms of, no, <laughs> you didn't even go for the just. Did you know? Went straight for the In terms of. Mono ground team if it was terrible. Marshtop has a terrible sprite in Gen 4. It looks like it got hit on the head and doesn't remember who it is. That's just what Marshtop looks like. I call her Celestria. Pyro, that is incredibly... yeah. I get that. That's a good username. New, I... Good nickname. Yeah, like, I, I, see the, I see the connection a lot there. I am glad it's not Sexy Waifu. A sexy waifu would be a good nickname if it wasn't- <gasps> Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, wait, no! Porygon Z! Oh yeah! I really want to use Porygon Z on a team. Yeah, do totally that. Totally Porygon Z. I can even help you evolve it, I think. Uh, well, let's, I mean- Let's ignore that you're just going to be able to just doop doop and do yeah, it. I can <laughs> do it with myself, <laughs> but, you know. If my next oh my sexy waifu. On the subject of Gardevoir being a sexy waifu, I um, Where do you where do you get the dubious disc in Gen 4? Um in Platinum, it is in the uh the Galactic Hideout, I believe. Yeah, it's in the Gal it's one in one of the Galactic buildings. I think they're both like, in the Galactic buildings. And the upgrades one? the upgrades in the one in Eternal yeah. is really early. Um Platinum Team Galactic HQ, but it, there's also one on Route 225, which is post game. Yeah, there's, but there's... Team Galactic HQ is it's in uh, Veilstone. Yeah. Wait. But it's the like, one that's only accessible after you have um. Yeah, I was about seven to say. Which is fine because Porygon Tool do well enough. Yeah. Oh my god. In the room that connects to the warehouse through the locked door between two seats at the table via underpass. Oh yeah. Also, by the way. I would be RNG manipulating these Pokemon to have good stats. Oh, okay. Because I think that's the only way I'd be able to actually beat the game. I, your team isn't as bad as you think. <laughs> I mean, that's the only that's the only way it wouldn't be like. You're not using Beedrill or anything here. I'm using Vespaquen. Vespaquen's fine. It's not that bad. Real yeah, talk. Vespaquen. Vespaquen's not that bad. Oh, wait a second. I can get Mistrevis and Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to play through Pearl to get Mistrevis. No, it's in Heart Gold Soul Silver. You can catch it in the Cliff Cave to the west of... Um... You can absolutely catch it in the Cliff Cave. But... That's I'm looking at Bulbapedia right now. Oh, right. Okay. I was just trying to tell you. But okay, if you've got it. But no, so Gardevoir, Sexy Waifu. 
I need to go back to this because I can't just it's leave that 5%. hanging. percent. <laughs> well, I could RNG manipulate it. Steelix is 1% easily. there, and I had to catch two of them for the present run, so I wouldn't worry about it. You can also get it at Mount Silver. Yeah, that's where it was Apparently. normally available, in Gold and Silver. Um, I think I actually Back just use Aerial Ace here. I use Aerial Ace on Cherim, you use Ice Fang on Tropius? Yep, I'm down. Sounds good to me. Right, a Gardevoir. Sexy well, waifu. Please, please, thinking, please don't let way. me leave that in the world. Please. <laughs> I need to I need to explain why I, why I brought that up. Um, so, a while ago, like ages ago, when I was doing the Metron run, uh, we encountered a Gardevoir within it, and I, I made some comments on it. I asked a genuine question, which was, have they been making Gardevoir sexier? Because it used to be a weird tissue paper ghost thing, and now it has like legs and a crop top, and it's in the it's in the human egg group and stuff like that. And I I, I made that those comments, and as of a couple of weeks ago, I've begun posting clips as shorts on YouTube on the clips channel. I was about to ask, isn't there a clip of you saying, "Have they made Gardevoir sexier?" And that one got a lot of views, <laughs> which I knew it would, right? But that one yeah. got a lot of views, and a lot of people calling me horny on meme. And it's like, that is not the point of what I just said right there. I'll take it, jump off, because I'm locked. Oh, okay. But yeah, like, that is not the point of what I just said there. I feel so attacked. Let's get outsped by a jump off. Jump off's really fast. We both got outsped by jump off. Oh no, my Salamence is the one that's jelly, not my Gyarados. Never mind. But yes, Jeez, no, my, my my sexy Gardevoir uh, video got an awful lot of attention. Your what? My s the one we were just talking about. <laughs> I know, it's just a really... My, se <laughs> my sexy Gardevoir video <laughs> is such a funny... It's, it's made it's me... Funny. It, it's made me dread... Um, clips actually are shorts actually getting views. So I'm actually really happy when one goes up and only oh like that's got 3.9 thousand views simply because the title contains the words Gardevoir and sexy. Wait a second, there's a there's a mistake on Bulbapedia. It said Miss Drevis is found in Mount Silver, but it's actually found in Mount Silver Cave. Someone should fix that. I don't know why Bulbapedia feels the need to separate the two areas, but it does, and it bugs me. Aren't they separated in the game? Yeah, like, but they're both called co Mount Silver Cave. No, it's just game? called Mount Silver, I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. I lied. But, uh, Latinos had a clickbait. Actually, so, uh, I think it's today's one, today's clip. Um, let me see. Oh, I hate trying to use this on my phone. Yeah, today's, sh today's short that was uploaded, I actually purposefully unclickbaited the title. Because it's like, I don't want people to see this. <laughs> it was originally called The Greatest Nuzlocke Moment Ever Recorded. And I decided, no. I don't really, like, after after how the card of War 1 went, I'm okay. I don't need people coming in and telling me that actually the greatest Nuzlocke moment ever recorded was when Skibbity Jeff uh, managed to beat the entirety of Pokemon pick and mix green with only a speedo. You know, like, I, 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 like, I don't... The skibbity Jeff, is that, <laughs> is that who has the skibbity toilet <laughs> in their house? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I just made a noise. Like... <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at the unknown... I'm looking at the unknown sets on Smogon because they're really funny. Yes, um, they are. Don't use this unless you really want to lose, or unless you're playing some novelty team which disallows the rest of the Pokémon <laughs> in the game, or something. Other options. You can choose any other hidden power type. <laughs> I like this, uh... I like the, the black and white set. Um... Which just... Which is just a a list of different Pokemon and it's like the the ranges that they deal 
against like random uh, i'll get rid of butterfree yeah i was hoping you would against random like um random like ou pokemon so it's like excuse me 252 special attack 252 plus special attack choice specs unknown hidden power ice versus four eight, versus zero hp zero minus special defense tornadoes <laughs> 76.25 to 90.3 percent Overstretch and hydrating again? Okay. But yeah, like you get you get what I mean. Like I don't I don't uh, wanna be I don't wanna be compared to Skibbity Jeff. Playing pick and mix green Jeff. with only a Spiro. Pokemon did you did you know that uh <sighs> Game Master One Million beat Pokemon chips and salsa with only a <laughs> Question mark, 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 question mark. The Pokemon that in Gen 3, the glitch Pokemon that causes you to instantly white out as soon as you send it into battle. I remember watching like YouTube videos on that. It was just things like, you know, oh, uh, if you just leave without picking a starter, then you'll get, you know, you'll end up with this question mark Pokemon and this lets you access this secret dungeon. Where you can catch a Shadow Lugia and things like that. I remember watching videos like that as a child. Well, the first half of that is right. <laughs> so. With stab boost and a choice specs boost, Unknown can at best one hit KO Monferno with hidden power psychic. <laughs> at best, fair. it inspires fear in the mighty Kakuna. Why are you <laughs> using this again? <laughs> Hatterin should be in the human like choice? egg group is such a such a thing to say on main. Choice specs is the item because unknown only has one possible move. So the drawback of being locked into a move means nothing. More importantly, the item brings a nice pop of color to unknown's drab black and white <laughs> color scheme. What are we what are we doing here? Uh I can get rid of I can get rid of Wormadam if you want. I'll just use Earthquake. Okay. Okay. I was wondering if you, you wanted to worm? Do you say worm, worm Adam or Wormadam? Wormadam. I know that See, it comes I, from Madame. It probably should be pronounced Wormadam, but I don't like pronouncing it that way. Do you pronounce it Madam? What do you talk to people? You don't say Madame? No, I say Madam. Huh. In American English, it's more common for people to say madam even though i well, even it though depends. I speak if you're just French, if you're just addressing someone I don't say right madam. then they are madame but if it's like yeah. madam madam gliscor you wouldn't say madame gliscor you know you'd say madam gliscor madame well madame. in french it's madame not madame okay hold on i have a i have some glitched pokemon information for you holy hell I have, yeah, I have some glitched Pokemon information for you. For you. Did you know that in terms yeah. of glitched Pokemon, there is this bad egg people have been talking about in Gen 3, which will ruin your save file, but if you hang on to it till it hatches, it hatches into a shiny Arceus that isn't like its regular shiny, and with over 100 in every stat at level 1, and it knows the move Kill, which instantly kills the enemy and never misses. Yeah, I actually did know that. Well, there you go. I, I really hope that some kid like used a cheating device and got a bad egg by accident and then biked around trying to hatch it because bad eggs don't hatch in gen 3. why are they even a thing? so why are they they're just... a thing because they're they're an anti-cheating protocol um if a pokemon is hacked into the game uh and it like fails a checksum something i think uh it gets turned into a bad egg it it's literally exists to prevent cheating. Okay. I like this. Okay, this is I I still wait. There's there's more funny stuff from the unknown set. So first of all, when alone, nothing happens. However, if there are two or more, an odd power is said to emerge. Black and white Pokedex Sentry. When unknown is alone, nothing happens. Poetic, indeed. Um, no, Sneasel! That I'm is, owned! That is a choice. <laughs> that is a choice. Anyway, so usage tips. 
The reason why you are using unknown is unknown. <laughs> team options. Use a better Pokemon and then build a team around it. Unknown can try on other items for cosmetic purposes, but no item will make a difference. Assault Vest makes Unknown look buff. Focus Sash makes Unknown look fierce. And Choice Scarf is simply fabulous looking on any Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown stats aren't even, like, that bad, right? Four people contributed to this article. It's Unknown! <laughs> Unknown only has two options, using hidden power and swapping out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was me in the present one, right? Like, those are my options. Use present or swap out? Yeah. Uh, hey, Block, quick question. What the hell does that mean? There should be like a ROM hack that gives unknown 999 in every stat. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Yeah. It's like those really. It's like the, when people make ROM hacks, they think they're super funny, so they give Shedinja like 255 defense. <laughs> it helps it with substitutes. Like, wow, you're hilarious, man. Really funny. Like, it doesn't have no purpose, it does help it with substitutes. Substitutes? If you pass a substitute, if you baton pass substitutes, there's Okay, to yeah, sure. I'm sure people would do that. That sounds like a thing people would definitely do. Set up a substitute with Blissey, baton pass oh. over to your Shedinja that has 255 defense. Boom. Oh my god, who did she kill? These NPCs really do just be saying things sometimes. If I if I made a ROM hack, the other thing I would change is there'd be like a 1% chance the NPCs would just say a slur. I, <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I was you. 1%'s pretty high. Fine. One in like 10,000. Once again, I remember lying to a streamer and saying that uh, in Let's Go Eevee exclusively, Oddish has a uh, one in one million chance of instead of going Meow, when it comes into battle, it just says hello in a really deep manly voice. That sounds <laughs> like something Oddish would do. <laughs> well, so hello there. Sometimes you just have to make things up, you know, to pass the time. Yeah. Like, everything in this world is a part of my routine. You being challenged so by racist you... X? We've all got so a racist are you X. Watching... So are you watching the FNAF movie? Uh, right now? No. No, I'm playing uh, Will you Pokemon. be? Uh, no, probably not. I, I didn't even know it was coming out until people in my uh, Discord server, exclamation mark Discord, uh, started saying uh, Five Nights Until Freddy. And I was just like, what? And they were like, the FNAF movie. And I was like, oh, it's getting a movie. And they were like, what rock do you live under? It's like, I'm sorry, I don't Google, is there a FNAF movie every five seconds of every day? You know Paris, France? In English, it's pronounced Paris, but everyone else pronounces it with the S sound like the French do. D d do they? Paris. We okay, yes, but does everyone else do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> the Merchant of Venice or Death in Venice. That's because Italians don't have rights. <laughs> oh my god! From your one percent slur to your Italians don't have rights, you've got some tapes I'm today. Italian. You're not I'm Italian. Italian, you are American. I'm definitely, it, like, my heritage is mostly Italian, I'm pretty sure. Where were you born? I don't know. For all I know, I was born in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I don't remember being born. Where were your parents born? 
okay, fine. <laughs> I'm not a... I myself am not Italian. However, as a person with Italian heritage, I am allowed to make fun of Italians, which I do because they deserve it. I also Why don't know if that's... Why is that uh, because that's how you catch your legendaries. It was uh, roaming when I caught it in Platinum. Oh. Yeah. Americans are the grandpa's grandparents are from another country. Yeah, like, Americans when their grandfather once knew someone who had a dog that was from Spain. To be fair, like, I think it was like my grand, my great grandparents were like immigrants from Italy. That's <laughs> so, so many generations ago. It's really not that many generations ago. It's a lot of generations ago. Yeah. I mean, there, it was enough generations ago that like, Most there are of... living people who, in my family, who are like, you know. Most like... Um, political figures in the, in the US weren't even born back then. Are you serious? Political, political, uh, political figures in the U.S. weren't born back then. Every political figure in the U.S. is like eighty years old. They were all born back then. Well, that's why I said that's most and not all. Born. <laughs> it's literally when they were born. They're all like pushing ninety. You, every American's grand grand grandparents were fucking British. I love British people. For real, for real. Listen, I use my Italian heritage specifically as an excuse to make fun of Italian people because, like I said, they deserve it. <laughs> I like I the idea that you know, you know, ninety percent of the time you're just like regular American, accepting of that's what you are, and then the other ten percent of the time you just walk in like, oh, it's a pizza, why <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, you're not. Like, where, where in America are you from again? You're from the, the, the Midwest. The Midwest, yeah. I I can't tell if that message calling me racist against Italians is a joke. Because if it is not a joke, it's incredibly funny that some of you just said that, like, unironically. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the Midwest. Yeah, which is which like the opposite I'm... side of the world from America, if I recall. Uh, from Italy. Exactly. It's not the opposite. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm not from- I'm not from, like, that part of New York where everybody's Italian, where they're like- None of them are Italian! <laughs> <laughs> no, but they- they talk like- they talk like, you know... Like Mario? Yeah, like Mario. <laughs> people the Brooklyn from New Italian. People from New York Listen, don't really okay, sound Italian, like that. It's 50-50 joke, well then it's 50% incredibly funny and 50% a, <laughs> a lame joke. <laughs> Jokes like that are only funny if the person doesn't mean it as a joke. Because it's the biggest joke of a statement ever. But if the person means it as a joke, it's not funny because making jokes about racism isn't funny. But if somebody genuinely thinks you can be racist against Italian people... You can then... absolutely be racist against Italian people. I mean... I mean, okay, it's not, okay, it's not, what is it, it's not, it's, it's not called not racism, it's racism called something as else. in the system of oppression designed around people's race, it's racism as in you insult someone based on their race, but like, it's not, it's not, it doesn't work the same way as regular racism does. To get into the, uh, it's actually quite interesting because there actually was systemic stuff against Italians, uh, not, it wasn't that long ago that they weren't even classed as white. That, that like, that's how vague the concept of white is as like you know a constant ever moving um you mean because race is a social construct no nothing like that but as in like it, it was always used to other you know you were able to other yeah. italians just like people no, argue nowadays you get um it's uncomfortably topical i suppose as the last couple of weeks you get people arguing that you know jewish people are not white they are Jewish, and it's like, that's not really how that, like, <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, 
not really how that works. I feel I, I feel like it's nothing to do with Jewish isn't a race. It's a religion. But the, my point is that that was used against What's Italians. Yeah. I mean Yeah. However, not in 2023. It's not. <laughs> so, I, I think... feel comfortable making fun of Italians. I think because, like I said, could do with a nerf. Italians do do a lot of clownery on the internet. <laughs> do they? Yeah. Italians are like the most annoying people about their um their country. I, I don't know if I don't know I, I feel like there's a sense of irony with the American person saying that to the British person, but you know. That is actually fair. That is actually fair. Someone's saying they can be fun of Italians while they claim to be Italian while not being Italian. Um distasteful is a really funny word to use for that because it's it's just i just don't care like it's it's i would love with how quickly it went it's from, not that deep i would love with how quickly it's it went from you are being racist against italians to goddamn french people french <laughs> people are kind of Listen, as We're a person all who, people on this planet <laughs> as a person who speaks french i can tell you french people aren't any better if you speak French. You speak French? Uh, I speak it at a relatively high level, but I'm pretty rusty. Le petit déjeuner est prêt. Is that all you know how to say? Or do you actually speak it? Jambon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Jambon. Boulangerie. Boulangerie. See, it's like half, half people, half the people I talk to are like, "Oh, you speak French? I know some French," and then some people are like, "Yo, you speak French? Omelette du fromage." I don't even know what to say about that message to Automod caught. I mean, you can't see it, but I can see it, and I, I don't, I don't know. Um, am I taking a picture? If you can take a Gorbus. Go prove us your French skills. I studied French for seven years. What? Do I need to, like, prove it? I had conversations with a French person. I mean, I've had conversations with a French person as well, but I've had them in English. I've had conversations in French with a French person. <laughs> Speed Valley. The problem is I don't know what to say. Here, let me find a, uh... Yeah, let's uh, let's see. French reading. Uh, reading sample. A conversations with German with Lottie. My German French is reading. my German is French terrible. French texts for beginners. You're focusing okay, far too much on too... French and not enough on keeping me alive. What? What am I doing? <laughs> you use ice fang on Gorobus. So was able to hit me with another That's ice because beam. I used Ice Fang on Pidgeot. Here, I'll do better. I'll use Return on Gorbis instead. Yeah, hey Han, welcome in. Welcome in to... Whatever in the hell this conversation is. En il faut une carte de, de, en justificatif de domicile de moins de deux mois. Nous acceptons le facteur de d'électricité ou de téléphone fixé ou encore l'attestation d'assurance de votre domicile. Mais le document le plus important à fournir est votre permis de conduire qui doit dater de plus d'une de plus d'une an. Oh God, I this language sucks. Now I remember why I stopped learning it. You sounded like you're in a lot of pain right there. Yeah. What did that mean? Do you know? It was a... It was a... a passage about a rental car... Agency. <laughs> the Wacom Betty weakened Thunderbolt's power. Okay. <laughs> sure thing, I should, buddy. uh... I should pull up one of my French essays that I wrote in high school. In fact, I will pull up one of my French essays that I wrote in high school just I to see if I can still understand it because I'm... It's been a long time. I thought you did Japanese. 
I study Japanese now in university, but I studied French in high school. I did, I did French in high school too, but only in like first and second year when it was mandatory. My accents and pronunciation in... are good, but my like, I, I don't, I won't pretend to know the language. I can read French and German. I struggle a lot with um, Spanish and Italian. My French was, or my French um, accent was always like the worst out of anyone in my class. Like, everyone in my class had a better accent than me. So, I think... Uh, the Shoba and Chult romance was already second to the uh, the Han and Kellogg's friendship. And now my favourite thing is the Shoba and MKK uh, visceral hatred. That that's... I literally <laughs> don't care. <laughs> I hope you understand this. This person is being overly aggressive towards me for no reason. Malheureusement, ce n'est pas possible d'éviter tous les clients plus serres. Mais un restaurant doit faire ce qu'il peut pour réduire le risque, même s'il doit exclure quelqu'un. Si un restaurant uh, earthquake Si un restaurant earthquake pendant la COVID-19, il faut que ce restaurant protège ses clients. Tous les établissements qui ne veulent pas donner la priorité à, à la sécurité de leurs clients sont une partie du problème. L'une des raisons pour lesquelles la pandémie est si courante est les entreprises qui veulent qu que tout redevienne normal, souvent parce que la pandémie affecte le business, le business et les bénéficiaires. Bénéficiaires. Uh, L'avidité des entreprises est un problème obstiné <laughs> dans la société moderne. I don't. This is this is about the pandemic. It was the omelette du fromage that came in. It was just like omelette du fromage. You said earlier, like, oh, people are always like omelette du fromage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's actually omelette au fromage, but you know. I know I hold two phrases in French, so I, be, I should be considered fluent. I'm the same with German, actually. I can say a couple of things. That's so I'm basically fluent in language. Like, I can say any number in, in German. Hydrate? Don't mind if I do. Bruce said, I only took a high school class. No, I could speak B, B2 level French in high school. That's pretty good. I don't know what B2 means. It means the highest level of... Uh, there's... It means the, the highest level of um, language skill that's not at the level of a native speaker, basically. Well, <laughs> highest or second highest. So what does that really mean? What's the English equivalent? Like, how many, how many English words would you know? I <laughs> said... Uh... Wait, where's the... Uh... Where's the, um... What do you... What's... Is this what's the English equivalent right here? Is this what you are in French? You're just there like, Ah, oh, what is it called? Yeah, exactly. What is this called? Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. Uh, B2. Can understand the main ideas of complex texts on both concrete and abstract topics, including technical discussions in their field of specialization. Can interact with a degree of fluency and spontaneity that makes regular interact interaction with native speakers quite possible without strain for either party. Can produce clear, detailed text on a wide range of subjects and explain a viewpoint on a topical issue giving the advantages and disadvantages of various options. So there's three levels. There's A, B, and C. And then within them, they each have a, a subdivision. So there's A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, and C2. So C2 is native speakers. C1 is like fluent people who aren't native speakers. And then it, B2 is probably where I was in high school. B1 okay. or B2, but I was probably B2 at my best with French. Because, um, I bet you were. We, we did a lot of like that kind of stuff in my uh senior year French class. It was just like a bunch of um 
essay writing on like really nuanced topics so we could learn to develop our ability to understand complex ideas in French. I did uh, German on Duolingo for a few months, and I would say that I'm probably C1, C2 as a result. Yeah, exactly. The owl was pleased with me. I can I can point at a duck and go enter. I used to make German memes actually. I used to make memes in German and send them to my German friend. Uh, they weren't like good memes because obviously I couldn't make good memes, but I, I I would do things like taking a picture of like a duck in a pond, and then captioning it with the, uh, "Hallo, ich bin Enter, Gebrot," <laughs> things like that. <laughs> Togaki, oh welcome. Understood in. that. Oh, I have to use rock slide. That's right. Do I get German points for understanding that? Uh, you get French points. I think French is the one that you're trying to prove. Exactly. That's like a Ger I really wish I could. I wish I had the the time in my life to learn fluent German. Um, do you know what battle this is off the top of your head? Nope. Okay, this is battle 20. Really? We're already at 20? Yeah. Also, uh, my girlfriend is from Detroit. Wait, no, 19. Sorry, I did maths wrong, but whatever. Haha! -ha! Yeah, I knew that love berry would come in handy. I'm sorry, your item is a love berry? That's what you settled on? <laughs> I said I was giving it a Lumberry. Remember when I said I was giving it a Lumberry because status of any kind just destroys Gyarados? Uh, 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 and I couldn't give it a life orb because I gave Salamence the life orb. I did ass thought you gave it a muscle band or something instead. I mean, it worked, uh, right? But okay. I had I blocked that from my head. I, I'm not gonna lie. Lumberry is more useful in something like Battle Tower than people give it credit for because... There's a lot of there's a lot of status spammers in the battle tower that just destroy you with status effects and then try to Detroit sucks. I'll have you know. I No, Detroit no, don't from... don't don't try this. Don't try this. Detroit I am from a state no, don't. that is I am from a city that is very, very close to Detroit, and I completely agree. Detroit yeah. absolutely sucks. There we go. I was like, don't don't try this. Detroit is very universally agreed upon that it sucks. <laughs> Please don't yeah. try and defend no, Detroit. No, Detroit totally sucks. It's a terrible city. But there's no but. I th I know that firsthand. Which most people don't know that firsthand. I've considered moving to Germany before, but I probably wouldn't because I didn't end up, you know, mastering the language. Uh, you go for Sand Slash because I should be able to take out my tank. Yeah, but then you can't then you can't live in Scotland and visit places like Barton on the Beans. Barton Barton on the Beans isn't even close to like okay, it is, right? Cuz the UK is tiny, but like it it's not it's not that close by. It's not like moving away really inhibits my ability to visit Barton on the Beans, which I'd like to point out is like a tiny Place it's a for Hamlet. The, for the popular right? body here with C1 level German levels. I do not have C1 level German levels. I was taking the piss. Ich bin für ein paar Minuten weg und auf einmal reden wir über Deutschland. See, I have no idea what that says. I am for uh, something about minutes. Einmal, um, einmal is the, the first day of the week. So that Right, so that must be Monday. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what that says. He said it perfectly. My pronunciation is on point. Um, I am really good at reading other languages. I do not. I do not understand them. That's that's. I'm the opposite. My my French pronunciation. Did she use ice fang and not waterfall. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did use Ice Fang in that waterfall. <laughs> Alright, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not paying attention, I'm not gonna lie. My, um, 
my reading comprehension was probably the best in my class, but my my speaking was the worst. Or my 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 accent, my pronunciation were the worst. My speaking was fine, but my my pronunciation, my accent were really bad. I have a friend who has like a really great French accent. Every time she talks, I'm like, damn, I'm so jealous. Ehrlich, Lotti. Hier war nichts über Montag gesagt worden. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Schande über dich. Uh, I don't, I really don't know. Einmal ist, einmal in der Woche ist the first day of the week, right? So I don't know what it means outside of that. Uh, I only have Earthquake, so I'm just going to switch because it's a short animation. <laughs> That's fair. I don't even know if it's a short animation. Probably not. Mm, no, I, uh, I think it actually... Mm, actually, I'm not sure. Earthquake goes on... It's oh, if, it, if the pressure probably adds on just that little bit enough. But Earthquake just goes on forever. Ice Fang probably won't KO anyway. I wonder if this Blossom will live. It probably will. Yeah. What if it does? That would be Blossom's really pretty bulky. Uh Aw, oh, no Lumberry. Nah. Lumberry. I was hoping the Lumberry get a second chance. I think it's funny that, uh... That people always say that people from the U.S. never speak another language. Because that's not true. It's just that people from the U.S. don't speak another language unless they actually want to learn it. Like... Uh, auf einmal people from the U.S. Okay. only learn second languages if they actually want to. Which, I don't know how similar it is in the UK, but... Uh, people in the UK don't typically speak other languages, no. But it is a bit better than the US. The US does have, like, the highest rate of people only speaking. Uh, Sp actually, no, that, yeah. Togeki has a good point there. There's a lot of people in the US that do speak Spanish. So it is unfair for me to say that. I have a friend who speaks Spanish, who's from the US. It's unfair for me to say that, especially in um, a lot of southern states. There'll be a lot of people who speak Spanish. Because yeah. if you are a child of immigrants, especially, and then that spreads. Because if you speak two languages, then why would you not pass that down? So yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. Now I have a I have a friend who's from Wisconsin and speaks Spanish. Why? I don't know. But they <laughs> they speak fluent Spanish, so hey, that's cool, I guess. Hey, hey use use crunch on slowking for me real quick, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha You're really funny! I, uh, my aunt also speaks fluent Spanish. It for might some honestly reason. be better for you to. I don't even know why just, she does. It might honestly be better for you to just switch, I don't know. Because Jolteon probably just outspeeds and kills Gyarados instantly. Yeah, I, I'm down to switch. We get the double intimidate. Yeah. So. I have a few friends who live in Texas, um, but I don't believe either of them. My brother. Oh no, one Texas. of them does speak another language, never mind. Yeah, one of them does speak fluent Spanish. Are, 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 are you him? <laughs> what? Not you. <laughs> Togeki. Oh. I hope you're stretching, by the way. I thought you were asking if I was my brother, and I was like, nope, not I'm me. My brother is my brother. Nah, you're not my friend who lives in Texas and speaks Spanish, because you only fulfill one of those bits of criteria. I am not him. Okay, okay. I, I, I figured it was unlikely, but I, I mean, I don't ask, fulfill right? either of them. I don't live in Texas and I don't speak Spanish. But you are my friend. Oh, you were counting that as a criterion. Okay. Focusash, let's go. See, criterion, that's the singular. I know that. It's not, it's criterion. Okay. <laughs> so now we're being. Oh, what was it that you oh, said? Oh, so now we're just saying when I'm wrong, are we? No. Now we're being, actually, uh, the pronunciation is only wrong if you're a filthy prescriptivist. Oh. So. Is that me? Is that what I am? No. I th Do we lose here? No. But, but, but do we? Do we lose here? No. Just... Get okay. rid of Jolteon. So I thought Octopodes was a good plural when I thought it was Octopodes. What did, you, what did you do? I just used Earthquake. Okay. But it's not Octopodes. It's Octopodes. I hate that. If it was Oh, that's like the Greek. 
Yeah, but if, like... if it was octopodes, I actually think it'd be a really solid plural, right? But octopodes? No. Because I don't take out Slowking here. I should take out Jolteon, but it was it was Sash well, to not banded, right? I was gonna take right? out Slowking, but then, well. Yeah. You we... know what I like the name for pounds that's that's spelled that French way, avoir du poise. But it's not pronounced avoir du poids. It's pronounced avoir du poise. <laughs> Bureau de change. Oh, guys, that is so real of you. That was definitely a high roll, given how much it did last turn. I don't recover leftover, so it wasn't that much of a high roll, but it was still, like, I didn't think it was going to KO. Urgh. This would be an embarrassing place to lose. It would be a bit of an embarrassing place well, to lacking. it's not necessarily uh, set in stone yet, is it? No, I'll just use Crunch on this Dusk Noir, and then we'll be good. I think Zapdos takes out Slacking pretty well, right? Like, thinking about it, we should probably have separated Gliscor and Zapdos so we could have used Earthquake and Discharge. But oh well. Discharge is not... I'm not a big Discharge fan. Should I Waterfall the Dusk Noir? Yeah. Yeah, we should focus on Dust. Well, obviously, I'm I want to say. Well, I was about to say we should focus on Dust Noir, but I, we should get rid of Dust Noir because Dust Noir is bad. Yeah, the slacking is going to be there for a for a few, a few turns. Dust Noir is a lot more of a threat than slacking, considering slacking just can can get wrecked as a consequence of earthquakes. <laughs> Okay. So Slacking could only take out one of us. It's probably gonna go for me. It's probably the one with the elemental punches. It probably sees a kill on you, so it will probably try to kill you. Uh, that's yeah. not, it's not the one with the elemental punches. Because that one ha- oh my wow, god. Wow, really? There's no way that- Gliscor is really physically bulky. Does, are you aware of how- or, no, I'm not, not are you aware, but do you know how the uh, damage calculation works in Gen 4? Does it do a simulated roll like it does in Gen 3? Um, I don't know. Because if it does, there's no way it saw a kill on you with Facade and then used it and didn't kill. Unless, unless that roll has really high variance for some reason. I mean... Could it have simulated a crit and seen that and then gone no, for it? No, it definitely can't do that. All right. That's something that, if that can't happen in Gen 3, there's no way that can happen in Gen 4. Ah, you say that, but when they brought competitive battles to Gen 9, they originally all started with, ex it's Bright Powder. They originally all it's, started no, with the same seed. It decides, crits are decided during the battle, when it simulates the damage roll, it just simulates the, the part of the damage roll that calculates damage. Crits are decided at a different point in the random generation than uh, the damage is decided. What about one hit Kaomos? I'm not sure, actually. I think accuracy is checked first, and then damage is rolled. What I mean more is... I don't know, actually. Do they do they roll the one hit kill move? See, oh, that will that will do one hundred percent of damage, and then click it, and then they have to hit it again. So that means that one hit kill well, moves actually have a nine percent chance. I know that, I know that, the AI does really bad with one hit KO moves, like in general. But I'm not sure which how they work specifically in Gen Four. It, I, I just mean Gen Three. Is, we don't know anything about Gen Four. <laughs> Gen 3 or Gen 4. It's likely that, I mean, in Gen 3 has a ton of special cases in the AI. Um, and there's like a bunch of different AI types that prioritize certain moves over others. So I've looked at the code and it's weird. So I'm not sure. Well, I want to say after what happened with Watson, I don't know how to feel about anything. I was about to ask if you were going to bring up Watson. <laughs> He's just too old to be running his own gym. <laughs> He's too old. Alright, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can, uh... 
Let's see if I can suss this out. Pokemon Ranger Duke and Pokemon Breeder Howard. I can't read that title. I can't read Cyrillic. I'm sorry. I, I can do pretty well with like German and French. Okay, I but looked Cyrillic. up like, Bulba. I looked up like. I looked up like AI Bulbapedia on Bulbapedia, and it gave me artificial Pokemon. That's not what I want, dude. It's so over for me. I fear. Okay, Pokemon trainer. If you can't read nor speak Russian, then you haven't finished eating your meal. Once you finish, you'll be able to read and speak Russian. That's how it works. That's how it transfers. Oh yeah, so every- well, every trainer class has a different AI. I know that, but... Let's look at like gym leader. So the tackles, so my Spanish feels powerful. Exactly, exactly. I had um, I actually had pizza for dinner tonight, but it was I said it was Italian style pizza. It was like soft crust stuff. So yeah, it was um like not like soft, so you know what I mean. It wasn't like a thick, horrific pie thing that they have in America. So. You mean Chicago and or Detroit style pizza? Yeah, so my my Italian I hate be... to break it to you, but I'm not gonna agree with you that it's horrific because I was raised eating Detroit style pizza, so Okay, so here's like... the thing. The 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 only kind of like thick American pizza I like is a Domino's pizza. But if it gets any deeper than that, it's just too much. Domino's is my favorite, like, chain pizza place. Like, if it's like a, you know, just like your basic pizza place, Domino's is probably my favorite. Okay, so Bulbapedia does not appear to have documentation on the AI, but I can't find it. I am not scared of this polygraph. I it. don't mind if it spends 20 turns using the double team, because I have... Um, oh yeah, I have area lace, so maybe I should be using that instead of just clicking Earthquake. Yeah, have area lace on Salamence, but not Gyarados. Oh, do I? Because Gyarados I doesn't learn it. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Gyarados wishes. Gyarados is just not as good in the sky as the mighty Diglett. Yeah. Well, area lace is, isn't area lace just supposed to be like a fast swiping move? I really want a tackle now. Like I ain't all that long ago, and now I'm now I'm, I I yearn for the crunch, <laughs> for the crunch of the taco. I'm making stew tonight, so don't come to my house. I wasn't, I wasn't going to. Like no offense okay. or anything, I'm sure your stew will be great, but like it, it's a bit far. Is all. Uh, yeah. I, I still can't get so. over the fact that we're able to play this like this, like, from across the world. That's just crazy. Pokemon to me. Had, was ahead of its time with this Wi Fi connection. So. I'm just so happy I get to actually experience this stuff. I never got to do this stuff as a child. Me neither. That's um, why. Do you want to use well, Ice Fang I used on to Tropius? do the Battle Frontier with the in game partners, but they weren't very good. Soft corn tortillas? Soft corn tortilla I would rather have as a fajita rather than a, a taco, right? Like. Okay, I'm gonna be real. Okay, but like, I am I am ignorant British person, and to be honest, they are all the same to me. Is when it's a soft corn tortilla, is that what I would refer tortilla. to as a boat? Corn, corn tortillas, they aren't good. They are good. They, they are. Good. They're so good. They aren't good. They're so good. Corn, corn tortillas are not... Okay, I don't like corn tortillas, but maybe that's just me. I used to hate them when I got the uh, I got the Tesco Value ones, but when I switched to an actual brand named one, it was they were so nice, so good, and I've never been able to go back. Really? Yeah. I got like, I got like fancy ones from my mom because she can't eat gluten, and I, I, 
tried one and they weren't good. Like, they were still bad. I love the way that you worded that with, like, the pauses as though you were in, like, a, uh, like an alcohol support group. You were just like, well, I, uh, I, I tried a, um, I tried a, a corn, soft corn, um, tortilla, and... The only food I've ever been addicted good. to is sparkling water. What the hell's wrong with you? Actually, there's like to... there's a decent amount of Germans in chat, so I'm probably gonna be like seen as in the minority on this one. But, but like, uh, hot take: sparkling water is absolutely disgusting. Well, I used to drink. I used to regularly get. I would go to the store, or sorry, go to the shops, and I would buy six liters of sparkling water, which in metric is I don't know. I know what a liter um, is. Okay, good. The only things that we serve I in would, pints are milk and beer. Everything else is liters. Because, you know, I we, would drink... Wait, did you well, just say that, you don't know... Hold on. Did you just say you don't know what it is in metric after saying liters? No, those are lit litres. I'm talking about liters. Are you kidding me right now? America has the audacity to have just... Really? Y'all have another <laughs> one? No. You don't think so. I'm pretty sure. I'm you have liters and litres? No, I'm just making a joke about the spelling. We do not have another one. But, uh, anyway, the, the, I would buy six liters of sparkling water and I would drink them in like four days. I would drink more than one a day. That's, okay, A, that's not even as much as you should be drinking. And B, what the hell is wrong with you? I drank so much that the dentist was like, you have to stop drinking sparkling water, it's fucking up your teeth. So, I stopped. I mean, as in, that's not, like, you're supposed to drink two liters of liquid every day. Oh. Well... Of, of fluid. Well, sparkling water... You also sh I also drink regular water. Like, I don't only drink sparkling water. Hey, quick thing, I, I, I need you to guess Block's age based entirely off of that message. Uh, two I... liters of sparkling water, or two liters of Mountain Dew a day for a month. I'm guessing I don't know, 15. Probably, yeah, probably like... It was four okay, years ago. Okay, then like 19, because that's what you were doing when you were 15. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, so yeah, I drank so much sparkling water that the dentist told me I had to stop because I was starting to get... No, um, sparkling... Sparkling beverages, any sparkling beverages are bad for your teeth. They're like, because spark making something carbonated inherently makes it acidic. So, sparkling beverages are naturally acidic. Okay, I'll so they're bad for your teeth. Oh, sorry, I'll earthquake you, I spine. Okay, cool. Um, that's part of the reason why you're not supposed to drink too much soda. Actually, what's recommended by dentists if you're going to drink soda is that you drink it through a straw. Yeah, because sipping a sparkling beverage and having it, like, continuously going against your front teeth is really bad for your teeth. Yeah. That's why the, the dentist told me that, too. They were like, don't just sit there sipping it all day. Have it as a beverage with a meal and then brush your teeth after. Or something, you know. I, I mean, dentists should really just tell you to, I was to not do that. I was drinking sparkling water. Dentists sparkling should be like, water. hold sparkling water in your mouth all day, because, you know, then you have to come see me way more yeah. often. The dentist's office that I went to, they had a coffee machine in their, uh, in their front room. And I, I, I went there to get a cavity filled, and I was like, D are, you, are you guys putting the coffee machine in your front room just, like, get more business? And they were like, no. But I don't know if I believe them. I mean, to be fair, I guess if you drank coffee and then had your teeth cleaned by the dentist, it would be, like, the best time to drink coffee. That's true. Can I just ask, do you, I know you spell it aluminum, but you do still pronounce it aluminium like we do over here, right? No. You don't actually say aluminum. Like, like, unironically, right? I'm just going for earthquake because I'm locked no. in, by the way, so sparkling, you focus on Charizard. Sparkling water is acidic. It... It does, it is bad for your teeth to drink too much of it, but unless you're, like, doing what I do and drinking excessive amounts of it, it's not a big deal. Like, 
I, I don't know what you're saying. Sorry, but sparkling water doesn't hurt your teeth. My teeth got damaged from drinking too much sparkling water. Like, objectively, it does because it literally happened to me. I'm sorry, Shoba, I do have to side with MKK on this one because it's like, it, it, is, it is acidic and it lovely. Is, it, it ha I'm not saying it, it's bad for your teeth just because I read that somewhere. I'm saying that because it happened to me. I know from first-hand experience that it's bad for your teeth. I'm not stupid. There are multiple like, ways of making it. I don't know what a soda stream is, but I know you can just make sparkling water by putting water through a soda stream. Yeah, it's basically just a thing that injects carbon dioxide into your water to make it bubbly. Why would you use yawn on a slacking? Norman slacking and uh, an emerald has yawn. Yeah, but Norman slacking sucks. Yeah, so we say aluminum. Uh, in in the U.S. Okay, I did wonder about this. So sparkling water is only bad for your teeth if either you don't practice good oral hygiene or if it includes um, added sugar, citric acid, or flavorings. Citric acid. A lot of acid. sparkling water, even unflavored sparkling water, has added... Um, I'm guessing that that's not true acid. in Germany. Though, because in Germany, uh, for a lot of people, uh, f like, please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, German viewers. But for in Germany, um, sparkling water uh, is like all that you'll drink in the house. You'll buy in like a bottle of sparkling water rather than drinking still water from the tap or still water from a bottle. So their sparkling what? water probably doesn't have anything like that. It's a big thing in a lot of uh, European countries, but Germany is the one I associate it the most with. I mean, to be fair, they, they in Poland, if you buy plain if you buy plain sparkling water in the u.s sometimes it has citric acid but a lot of the time it doesn't have that it doesn't have flavoring obviously and it doesn't have sugar obviously and uh, sometimes it has citric acid in it but sometimes it doesn't so like if you really cared about your oral hygiene you could like find the right brand of sparkling water do you care about your oral hygiene? but also though? yeah but that's easy i brush my teeth once or twice a, a month literally literally the I don't know. I think a citric acid is a preservative or something. I'm not sure, actually. Or not a preservative. It's like a, a stabilizing agent or something. I don't know. Let, let me see. Let's, let's look up sparkling what is water. American sparkling water of citric acid? Americans can't actually make a product and not put stuff in it. It doesn't compute. Um, you take out Marok with Waterfall, I'll just go straight for um, uh, Adel Ace on Blossom. I don't think this oh, is no, something it's only for it. it's only it's it's only added to uh ones that are flavored like citrus. It's not um it's not a actual I don't know if well, any I, I don't know if any acid, of that reached you, so I hope it did. Acid is a preservative. Like acid preserves things. Like if you have something that's really acidic, it it helps preserve it. However, um Citric acid is only put in sparkling water that is citrus flavored. Americans casually waltzing into stream and catching strays. No, I'm I'm like not attacking American citizens. I'm just saying like that is just a thing with companies, right? Like they try and make stuff more marketable in America in order to differentiate your product, you make it taste different from other people's products. I love how it did not reach you when I told you to use waterfall. Never stuck in a sandstorm loop. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. Um, I do not blame Americans for the the products that exist within America. I don't blame anyone for living in their country, right? Like, people just live. I feel like a lot of people criticize Americans because they think that Americans are as stupid as, like, the people who make the laws in America. I, like, I just don't... I don't like to attack people at all based on where they're from or anything like that. Like, yeah, no, I agree with you because I don't do that. However... <laughs> you did that earlier! <laughs> oh, you mean when I made fun of Italians? No, that that wasn't... I wasn't saying that it's because they're Italian. I'm saying it's because they have a tendency to be annoying on the internet. I have what I feel is a very unique outlook on life that comes from me. So I was not born in Scotland, but I grew up here. And Scotland is one of the most nationalistic countries, to my understanding. And as a result, I always felt like a bit of an outsider, and I resented the country um, for that. Uh, but it caused me to realize that, like, I don't have any ties to, like, I was still raised here, 
but I didn't feel like I belong, but I don't have any ties to, like, Welsh heritage either. So I just kind of have come to this realization that I am a, a person from Earth. You know, that is, that is where I come from. I feel most at home in Britain, but, like, I... I'm not gonna overly identify as British, I am just a person who happens to live here and I would happily move anywhere else. I'm happy to be human as is, as opposed to feeling the need to tie myself down to some false sense of identity based on the part of the world I happen to be born in. Yeah. That's why... A lot of people from America hate living here. Like, they have no national pride. The people who have national pride in America are crazy people. Like, the type of people who keep guns in their shower because they really want to... You know, the NRA members. And the people who think that, like, the traditional values of America mean slavery should come back. What kind of roommates do you have? These are just, these are just wish, wild I, I statements. I wish this wasn't like, this is my roommates, and it, it's, it wasn't like the, the lawmakers that are in charge of how the country gets run. I wish it was just my roommates who believed these things. The entire Republican Party believes that LGBT people are groomers. Like, this isn't a thing that my roommates... But Although, uh, people are like, make fun of the... It's funny to me when British people make fun of America because it's homophobic. Like, are you sure you want to do that? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the UK is, is worse in terms of homophobia than the US is. But, no. you know. Not even remotely. Are you sure? For, for, for transphobia, it's definitely up there. But for homophobia, not even, not even remotely. It's not even remotely comparable. It kind of depends on where you are here, because some places are super there accepting are, and some places I don't feel are comfortable more. talking about various politics, but like talking about LGBT stuff is fine by me because that's not something that should be political at all. Um, but yeah, but there are places in America where if you're gay, you know, you fear for your life. There's nothing like that in the UK. We don't have any politicians in the UK either who would. I feel ever stand up and say negative things about gay people like that gay marriage should be reversed or anything like that. We don't have that. Uh, gay people are pretty safe in the UK, I would say. It's it's trans people that are the current demonized minority here. Yeah, but there's nowhere where trans people are really safe, let's be real. They're alright in Canada here. <laughs> Uh, Germany was okay uh, for a bit. No, I have a I have a friend who's Canadian, and she said that she lives in an area where she could get killed for being trans. So, probably not. It's like probably similar to the U.S., where it just depends where you live. Yeah. Christianity has no inherent ties to supporting or not supporting gay marriage. It's just that people who are homophobic sometimes use Christianity as an excuse because. The Bible says marriage should be between a man and a woman. The Bible doesn't even say that, is the other thing. No, the Bible the Bible says that being gay is bad, but the Bible select like people are cherry picking when they say that being gay is bad because the Bible says so, because the Bible also says a lot of other things are bad that people don't care. I actually did meet someone once who didn't um who was a Christian who didn't eat shellfish and they also didn't wear mixed fabrics and stuff, and it's like, no, that's not real. You're not real. You're not a real person. There's, yeah. there's no way there's a real person who actually follows all of the Bible's little tenets like that. No. Yeah. No. You're not real. The, anyway, the whole thing about, like... The, the whole thing about, like... Homosexuality is an abomination. Like, some translations... <laughs> some translations are... Have a different viewpoint of that being about homosexuality but it's it's usually the consensus is that it's it's about being gay is bad however a lot of christians are nice enough to not care that the bible says that because it doesn't really matter um some people however, will try and avoid saying things that can be taken as quotes out of context and some people will just be you and immediately fire into the thing with being gay is an abomination is 
<laughs> I mean, I I say I'm homophobic as a joke a lot. So let me wait. Let me see if I can find that one that one Twitch clip. Hold on. Let me let me see. There's a. You can't talk about being homophobic while taking out slow bro. It's not fair. Where's the where's the clip? It's in my clips. My Twitch clips somewhere. I love I how think. you said earlier that making jokes about racism isn't funny, but. You know, you're you're fine with saying that you're homophobic. I mean, I am. So. Huh? <laughs> I don't. You're you're definitely not. I'm not. Either that, or you have some some serious like self reflection that needs to be done. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna watch this clip. Hold on. Get my entire finger for LGBTQ, and there's no trouble here. I've genuinely heard yeah, of there, the, there have been troubling uprisings in Germany with regards to. Uh, the clip is just me saying I'm homophobic. I'll DM it to you on in Discord. <laughs> I'm homophobic. But yeah, there have been up there have been, not uprisings, but there have been like there have been growings in Germany of a, uh, especially transphobia, but general LGBT phobia has been creeping its way into media and stuff. One of my friends um, said in somebody's Twitch chat, like, I'm homophobic or something along those lines, and then got banned. I mean, I'll be <laughs> real, if that was You're anyone's- that? If that was anyone's first no, no. chat in my stream, not, I'd ban not, it. not banned from the person's chat, banned from Twitch. <laughs> they got a Twitch ban. They got a month-long Twitch ban. And it's funny because, like, they are the most obviously queer person ever. Um, like, that, that's the, that, like, that's the, that's the reason why it's funny and not offensive. But anyway, so when they came back, when they got unbanned off Twitch, they put a banner on their stream that said, I love gay people with, like, the heart emoji. And they changed their their Discord nickname in a server we were both into number one LGBTQ plus ally with like the, the K flag emoji. <laughs> it's like, they were like, for a while they were like aggressively like, I'm such an ally guys because they got banned for saying they were homophobic. It was funny. It was a very good debacle. And so like, from then on, whenever someone said something similar, people people would say, like, don't ban me, Twitch, please. Please don't ban me off of Twitch for homophobia. Uh, I think I want to use Rock Slide here if you want to try and... Uh, you can't really do anything to Bibarel. If I use Earthquake, do you think you can take on Zatu? That's a great question. It's just the Zatu 2 shot me earlier. It's kind of annoying. What if I had Crunch? If you had Crunch, that'd be great, but you don't. So Pyro, with regards to worrying, um, it's possible that a lot of the anti-LGBT stuff that is rising up politically just now across the entire world are the the death throes of a of a dying viewpoint. Like the the final Hopefully. the final let's see what can stick of people who want to of people who want to hurt minority group that is finally achieving proper acceptance within society. Well, certain places are going backwards, but... Want, but some places are going backwards because it is that thing. It is that dying. Yeah. It is. It is that. It is. It is the final. Let's just see what damage we can do. That is. That is the hope that I have. That is. I've spoken to many There's no LGBT way you just got people. Attracted. I know, right? <laughs> that's a heavy well. Yeah. That's. It's. It's the hope. Right, like that's that's what that's what I've seen a lot of people hope for because what else can you hope for, right? That's so gotta true. be the future. Glyscore getting immobilized by love. Getting immobilized by love in the battle tower, I mean what the hell? Manual setting attract Bibarel. What is that set? It's probably another battle tower meme. I'm really curious about it. I mean, nothing will be as good as the adamant Honchkrow with Gust from Pokemon Legends Arceus, but... 
As if it gets another flying type move that it could use instead. Drill Peck is real. It can hurt you. Drill Peck isn't real. Okay, you can you outspeed and take out your Afrig, so I'm just gonna switch to Zapdos. Because... Speaking of Peck, there's a Mamo Swine with Peck in the battle tower. Peck is oh I'm not gonna never mind. I was I forgot how battles worked. I was like I'll switch. You forgot that this is Pokemon and not bird hunting. Well, I was like oh I'll switch while you take out your Afrig, so that when the final Pokemon comes out, I will have Zapdos out just in case it's a flying type and I'm locked into Earthquake. That was my logic. Yeah, sure. Um, anyway, Mamoswine good... was quite happy to run Peck in competitive Gen 4 because none of its moves really did good damage to Heracross, but Peck would take it out. I'm sure that's why they gave the Mamoswine in the Battle Tower Peck. Oh no, they were definitely just memeing. But, uh, I feel like some of these, some of these, they gave them bad sets on purpose so that children would block. be able to beat the battle tower. It didn't bloody help with the bright powder guard yeah. chomp. But it it's didn't actually work. that's the same reason why um, Flygon ran Gust in Gen three competitive was once again it was for Heracross because Flygon doesn't really need that fourth move slot and nothing else it has really does good damage to Heracross, so it might as well just run Gust. My Pokemon drink contains no Pokemon or their byproducts. So true. So true. So what exactly is a ninja, you may ask? No, I'm not asking that. I I am curious about I... the answer, though. Like, I really want to know what it, what is... Who is Ninja? So the first time I ever heard of Ninja, the, the streamer, was when people were talking about how he died of Ligma. And I had no idea what in the so actual hell Ligma was. And I was trying to ask my friends, and I was like, did Ninja really die of Ligma? And they were like, no, he hates that meme. I was like, oh, okay. And it was in a voice call, and I was just like, I've been seeing it everywhere, so like, what is Ligma? And they, they all just start, you know, fake laughing, like, aha, good one, Charlotte. I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, no, w what is Ligma? You know what I that reminds me of? <laughs> I think I was the only person to ever fall for it. <laughs> do you know what Ligma that is now? Of... I do. That reminds me of when somebody would put Darude Sandstorm in a video and people would ask what song it is and someone would reply, Darude Sandstorm. And people would be like, no, actually, what song is it? And it's like, <laughs> it's actually Darude Sandstorm. I wonder if you left this because of the Intimidate. I uh, doubt it, right? I doubt it, but... I wouldn't be surprised. Gyarados is so, so real. So real for this. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? <laughs> Den just said, um, I grind in my sleep. He real as fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I had no... I, if I, had red free. I had no idea what Ligma was. I genuinely... Lived under a but rock. Do you know what Bofa is? I, I, I do, I do. Okay, good. Making I actually sure. didn't. I only came across Bofa as a result of a um. It was a, it was a comic by a trans woman writing about how she'd had an archaeectomy, and in it, one of her friends asks her what an archaeectomy is, and she's like, "Oh, it's also called a Bofaectomy." <laughs> and that was when what? I first came across it. What? Prison is a master troll. <laughs> speaking of which, um, well, not speaking of this at all. You know what I'm excited for when we roll, roll dragon? Well, dragon, we just win, right? Uh, dragon D's nuts across your face. Oh, oh, okay, fair, fair. Yeah. Ima imagine, imagine anyway. dragons, am I right? Yeah, I imagine. Do you know what Macargo's exactly. pre-evolution was? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Gulpin. It's what Slugma. <laughs> Guys, what Slugma? <laughs> Macargo D's nuts. So, somebody in the Super Mario Galaxy speedrunning Discord wants, Hey, does anybody know how to do Chokan skip? <laughs> and a person responded, A person responded, Try another server, bud. <laughs> yeah, this community basically created DN jokes. You're not gonna get us. And it's because there's a galaxy called Dreadnought Galaxy, so people abbreviate it as DN because it's funny. Uh, and then 
it's like, oh, I I have to do the the thing in in DN one, and it's like, what's DN? You know, dreadnought, right? Thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's dreadnought. That's yeah. I, I promise you won't get banned, by the way, for 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 these nuts jokes. I've I've pretty much seen all of them at this point. I think. I'm amazed that I actually seen... got gotten with the bloody dragon monotype, but I didn't expect that at all. That's the point. You gotta get them when they least expect it. <laughs> it's just embarrassing that it was in the conversation and I still just didn't even expect it. Like a moron. I was wondering, I, I feel like, I was like, I, there's no way I get her with this. She's too smart. And then I got you. So, rip. I, 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 I... I didn't even ask like what you're excited for. I just I, I I guessed instead. I just took it as a genuine statement. I'm sorry for taking you at face value. I no, you should probably take most things I say at face value because I'm really I don't put like hidden meanings behind things I say. Because I I don't know how to do that. Ah, thank you for the follow, Toby. I, I love the I love the uh I'll take my ban now, followed immediately by a follow. There's something so real about that. It actually, it's funny because it actually really bothers me when people don't say, when people don't take what I say at face value. Uh, oh yeah, I bet, yeah, so I bet it does. I'm yeah. glad you were taking what I say at face value. I just took it <laughs> like it was that. homophobic like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> exactly. It really bothers me when people don't take what I say at face value. Uh, by the way, I hate women and minorities. Why does it low-key feel illegal to walk out of store with unpurchased merchandise in your backpack? <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at Twitter. You can actually pay for goods with um, crime. If you're short on money. I mean, you can. They do accept... Uh, Theft as an alternative form of payment, provided you don't tell them. Okay, so I obviously go for, you know, not earthquake here. Um, oh. Do you? Which one the, would you like to take out? I'm worried. You do no. You earthquake. It'll take out vile plume. <laughs> <and then I'll laughs> like fire. fuck it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm using aerial ace. Don't try this. All right. I'll ice thing. Transgender female fencer scores world title over 14-time champion. Can't wait to see right-wingers start pretending to care about women's fencing all of a sudden. I didn't even realize That's fencing big... was split. That's the big um, thing that people in the U.S. do, is they pretend to care about sports. Yes, I, I remember not long ago when it was... Trans people can play sports. I remember not long ago when it was such a meme that no one cares about women's sports. Like, that's why all these female athletes don't earn as much, is because no one watches them, because no one cares. And then suddenly, within the past few years, people have suddenly begun to care very much, in fact. But, wow, that didn't even do half? Oh my god, Vileplume is built different. Okay, so obviously I ate LA Vileplume next turn. Yeah. If you don't want to play the luck game. I don't want to play the luck game. You know what I, I saw is, is someone I know tweeted a conversation uh, with their partner. Steelix. Okay. Someone I know tweeted a conversation with their partner where it was like, what do you want to eat? I don't care. Okay, but what do you want? I don't care. I'll eat anything. What don't you want? Poison sandwich. <laughs> Okay, but I, <laughs> You're I, so real for that. I can be like that when I'm like, I don't mind, but, but I do mind. But it's like, I don't mind what we have, I just, like, I don't have a preference on a specific place. There's numerous places I like, but, like, I'd really, really passion berry, but there's really things that I'd like, I'd like not like. And I feel the needs now to stress that with my family in particular. Okay, I'm stretching. Okay, wait, have you heard my life hack for when... Well, this isn't my life hack, it's something I read that not enough people know about. It's when you and, like, a friend are trying to pick a place to eat at and you can't decide. I know the- I know the life hack. 
a, oh. the, the thing where it's like you pick, you narrow it down to five places or something, and then I'll pick one. Right? No, it's it's even better. Well, okay. What first of all, should I just tang growth, or should I deal with steelix? Uh, just waterfall again, because I had a passion berry. Okay, so the the one that I use generally is. Um, you narrow it down to a handful of places, like four or five or six. It doesn't really matter how many. Uh, then the other person picks two, and then you pick which one of those two you'd like better. I'd be so upset because in narrowing it down to five or six places, I would know which one I want to go to, and then they'd pick no. two, and neither of them would be the one I'd want, and I'd be like, God damn it. <laughs> Well, that's just how I that's am when the... I'm writing lists. But it's like, I can't pick a favorite of something, and then I try you, actually narrowing them know, down, and then suddenly I do you, have a favorite. If you try to narrow it down, and all of a sudden you have a favorite, then just narrow it down before you ask the person, and then say, do you want to go here? And what if they say, oh, I don't mind. The cycle then, continues. Then it's like, oh, great. Then you then you don't mind. Let's go. And then they're like, well, actually, I didn't want to come here. I, want, I didn't want to go to... I don't want to go to... Jaffa John's. I actually wanted to go to Vincenzo's Pizzeria. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. If somebody says I don't mind going there, and then they afterward are like, well, I didn't actually want to go there. That's on them. That's not on you. Because if they can't make a decision about where they want to go, and then they don't, or if they don't want to go somewhere but don't want to assert themselves, that's their problem. Okay, but consider it would keep me up at night make me sad. Okay. I, I just start like a normal person. person. Mav, that's so real of you. Starvation That's... is always easier than talking to people. No. Yeah, like, give me flashbacks to them and my family. So that's why I've become a bit more assertive, is because, like, okay, when I moved back in with my family a couple months ago, they ordered in a pizza from the nicest pizza place. Like, I have never had a pizza this nice in my life. And then the next week, so they get a takeaway once a week, the next week they ordered in a... They ordered in from a, an Indian, so I was able to get the nicest paneer korma I've ever had in my life, and it was like, oh my god, that is, like, that paneer korma, actually, I would, I would, um, I would kill a man, I would, I would hold my hands around his neck, and I would squeeze as I watched the life fade from his eyes for just a bite of that paneer korma. But that's not really relevant. The point is, well, it's really how, nice. How is it me that, how is it me that's not worried about saying things that could be taken out of context? Well, I didn't, that wasn't sane in context. <laughs> My self <-ass> tribute. <laughs> Please choke me to death. But, uh, on main? On main? Anyway. But uh, main? I I don't know what we're doing here, by the way. I, I'm I'm just going to... I think we just, double, we just double Earthquake. King just probably going to set up um, Rain Dance. Dragon Dance. Or Rain Dance, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so th then the next time they got a takeaway and they were like, oh, we're having a Chinese. And I was just like, okay, I'd rather not. And they were like, no, you have to have something. It's like, I could just make my own dinner. No, you have to have something. And then it's like, all right, fine, I'll have, I don't know, like, an omelette. Because I don't like 90% of things with Chinese and I'm a vegetarian. Oh, Ice Beam, that actually works. Because I kind of wanted to not be in Gliscor. So that's fine. Um... I was like, alright, well, I guess I'll have an omelette. And they're just like, oh, and you can have rice as well. And it's like, it doesn't feel like a gift. It feels like a chore. Um, This omelette comes by. It is awful. Salt and pepper chicken. I am a vegetarian. So, like, I can't really eat an awful lot. So I'm stuck with this omelette and egg fried rice. And it's fine. It's just like, that curry was the nicest thing ever. You know, casual reminder. I'd watch the life leave a man's eyes. Um, But... But yeah, it's not as good. Anywhere near as good. Then the next week they're like, oh, we're ordering in a pizza. And I'm like, from the good place? From the really good place? And I'm like, no, I didn't really like that place. So we're going to get one in from elsewhere. And they got it in from this god-awful place. Actually the worst pizza I've ever had. And I've had Papa John's. And it was just so cheesy. But like, the cheese was hard and oh, yeah. chocolate. You you mentioned the, the lactose intolerance Yes. A problem with a large quantity of cheese on the pizza. Uh, if you waterfall Mama Swine, I'll Thunderbolt Slowbro. But yes, it was so awful. 
that I I just I got sick from it genuinely. Um, I, like I just felt abysmal. My stomach was bad. My guts were bad. It tasted foul. And it was just like they tried to order from it again the next week. So it was like, oh, I remember they like that place. And it's like no. It like no, just please let me make my own meal instead. And they're like, oh, you're always so difficult. And it's like I have given you places I like. It is not my fault. You would rather order from the weird cheese how is, place. How is how is it difficult for you to be like I want to make my own dinner? Like it's not you're it's not like you're asking them. They it's no extra work on their part. Well, that's the thing is that it, it's because it's treated as like oh it's got to be this family treat, right? Like it's got to be the whole family coming together. And it's like, but it's I don't see it that way at all. I just like. I'm offering the path of least resistance here. I just want to eat my food. Okay, also, okay, here's another language question. You say we are ordering in a Chinese. Do you say a, like, do you say, because when, 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 when Americans talk about ordering takeout, they say like, oh, or ordering in, I, I suppose. They say we're getting Chinese, not a Chinese. That might just be a Glaswegian colloquialism, but like, ordering, Maybe. A, ordering a Chinese is definitely what we would say. Interesting. That's weird. Because I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that, so it might be a colloquialism. I won't lie, I feel awkward I do always things. feel awkward about it, especially talking about it on the internet, because it's like, is it going to be taken that way? Like, I don't really like referring to it as its place of origin. You wouldn't say you were ordering in a, a German. You know what I mean? A German. Like, well, you said an Indian. Th that's what I mean. I don't know why we do that with Chinese. But we don't have anything other than... It doesn't... We don't do that for anything. Chinese, Indian, and Italian. Those are the only places that we would do that with. You wouldn't say a French. You wouldn't say a Croatian. But you'd be like, oh, we're getting a Chinese. We're getting an Indian. We're getting an Italian. That, you would do it with those. That's very odd. Maybe it's because those are the three most common, like, themed food places. That's my guess. Like, there's a Mediterranean place by my parents' house. Would you say we're getting a Mediterranean? No. Or would you say we're getting Mediterranean? We wouldn't say we're getting a Mexican either. You'd say that you're getting Mexican food. What? I know. I don't get it. I, I don't pretend. Why? I don't know. I just live okay. here. Okay. Right, I so, just live here. So I'll just use Earthquake. Blastoise will kill me, but... Blastoise will take damage from this earthquake because its physical defense is actually not as high as its special defense. Cursed facts that you did not want to know about Blastoise. No, it's got a hard shell that protects it from beams and stuff, but you can still crack it with a punch. That makes sense to me. It's just weird, Blastoise. Like, don't get me wrong, they're like one point off of each other, but it's still weird to me that its special defense is like higher. Getting a Mexican in any context is horrible. <laughs> I mean, like, it's it's just, why is getting an Indian okay? Or a Chinese. Or a Chinese. I don't get it. I, 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 I know, Even lie. in this context, saying a Chinese makes me feel weird because it just sounds racially charged. That's what I mean. I don't like it. It's such an instinctive thing for me. I have, uh, I have dropped a couple of things that were instinctive to me since streaming because I didn't realize that they were racially charged because oh my god Britain is so backwards but like that one's weird to me because I don't know if it is and I don't like saying it but I actually don't know how else I would say it I try and reword it as like we ordered in a curry rather than we ordered from an Indian or we ordered an Indian but it's like that's not what comes out naturally. I have no idea. And I, I'd you be could say self. an Indian restaurant or like an Indian place or something. I guess. Would you not just say that you were having an Italian? No. We got Italian food. We got Italian for dinner. We ordered from an Italian place. But we never say we got an Italian for dinner. I'm going to eat my own nose. Oh, that's a good idea. British getting an Indian is a classic move of just taking a country and saying, mine, god. It's colonialism. <laughs> so true. Yeah, did I tell you about the... When I went to visit the... My family that lives in a redneck area in my state? No. Oh my god, this is a good story. So, I went to visit 
family in a part of my state that's like very redneck y and they lived on a road that was literally like the name was literally a racial slur oh my god and so my my i was like my mom was like isn't that road named a isn't that road name like a racist word and i was like yep and my grandma was like my mom was like it's a is anyone else suffering is... just hearing how difficult this story even is to tell without apparently saying the slur? I'm suffering. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, my mom was like, that road is named after a... Because my parent, my mom wasn't saying it either because she was like, she didn't want to say it. She was like, isn't that road named after... A... I'm trying to figure out how to explain this story because it's so insane. My mom was like, that road is an offensive word against against black people right and my grandma was like yeah it's like the n-word except she didn't say the n-word she said the n-word yeah yeah old people do that sometimes i yeah and my mom was like mom you can't say that word and she was like i can't <laughs> and we were like i was like okay <laughs> sure okay that probably i can't get rid of rampardos that part of definitely kills me i'm just gonna use earthquake like you, you do what you want <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? I'll earthquake too. Why not? Uh. So yeah, that was a interesting. That that time my grandma said the n word, and then my, we went to while we were driving to a road that was named after a racial slur. Yeah, I had a, f I had a friend that lived. Well, my my old roommate um named. Pyro, thank you for clipping things. By the way, I've been missing out on clips, a lot. I need more. We haven't had any clips in like three weeks, and I'm I, we're about to catch up on the YouTube channel. I'm just saying. So if I could start saying clippable things, that would be amazing. Such as Barry Porygon I mean, said. Okay, but uh, you could just start doing content, I, like saying stuff that's on clippable on purpose. Oh, you're right. Okay. Um, hold on. What what can I? Maybe you can't. Never mind. Uh, I, I, I try and go for PG-13 vibes generally, otherwise I would have said something somewhat sexually charged I, right there, ironically. I think I swear too much for PG-13 vibes. Uh, I, I mean PG-13, like, I don't... I'm not going for full-on PG-13, like, do not swear, because I swear. I just mean in the sense of, like, you know, d I don't... Uh, there, there shouldn't be sexually explicit content. Then, I hope if people are are thinking that they should not watch my streams, like do, do you do you give off sexually explicit label. content? They have the mature label on them for a reason. Oh my god! But yeah, I my... do not. I do not do sexually explicit <laughs> content. But there have been a number of sexually explicit statements made while I was streaming on Twitch before by either myself or people in the voice call. But has never had in. an impure thought in her life. That is honestly kind of true. I did not know what half the things people were talking about were when I came into streaming, which has led to me having such fantastic quotes. So I, I actually don't even remember what I said about Unknown D. Such fantastic quotes as what's Ligma? What's Ligma? Uh, some, it was something about like, yes, I got the D. It's <laughs> like things like that. It's like I just say things. It's awkward. But uh But yeah. What is the purest soul? I might be, I might be. Look, I just I, I play the Pokemon. Just ask her about her first school backpack? Yeah, yeah. That was my uh own background for ages, that comic that Pyro drew. I remember getting my first... When I went to primary school for the first time, I didn't know that that was what I was doing. And I was just walking with my mom. And I have I have vivid memory of this. And she gave me a little backpack. And I was like, wow! And I, I like... She helped me put it on, and I was like, do I get to keep for this? And she was like, yes, it's yours! And I was like... I, really, like, I was just like so excited. 
to get my own bag to keep my own stuff in. Ah! Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You aren't a fan of that story, I take it. Oh no! Uh, well, my DS just completely broke. Oh, that's a problem. That's cool. Did you just? Did you no, just? I... Did you just rage smash your DS? You know what? I didn't. I moved forward a very small amount, and I bumped against my desk, and it just shattered. Like, <laughs> the entire... The entire, like... The entire, like, part holding the top and bottom screens together just broke. So now the top screen is just hanging loose. But it's still... It's still working. Oh, yeah. No, it's working oh, just okay, fine. Oh, okay. Cool, it's cool, just... cool, cool. All right, we'll keep going, then. Yeah. We can definitely keep going. It's just, uh... Yeah, this console's a bit out of commission now. No, yeah, that's... that's... Don't worry about it. Uh, sometimes DS's break. I actually think this DS... I bought it off eBay, and it said refurbished on eBay. Yeah, refurbished, because it was originally made out of cheese by the sounds of it. Yeah, it's possible this DS has, has like, a crappy aftermarket shell on it. I'm not sure, but it's possible. Okay, do I rock because... slide or do I actually just ice fang dragonite? Cuz this thing this thing is made of glass. I swear, it just breaks. Like the plastic on this thing just breaks. Do I do I rock slide or do I just ice fang dragonite? Uh I don't know. It doesn't have multi scale, I... so it's not like it's going to live. You know, yeah, it's more I, likely I to like... have a yachi berry than it is to have uh, a charty berry. If you Ice Fang Dragonite, I could waterfall the Aerodactyl. That was my thought process, yeah. I just don't like being Let's locked into that. Ice Fang. Alright, I will hydrate. Oh, well. That's me told. This is totally broken. Wow. Oh my god, god I damn. took that! That was four times effective! Jeez. Thank you for the hydrate, Shoba. Still invest in this backpack story. Honestly, that was the whole story. Genuinely, I was just so excited to get my backpack and it was mine and I could put things in it. I was just such a happy little lottie. Well, I suppose I have a pair of DS hinges now in case I ever need those. Because neither of them are inside the DS anymore. Wow. Uh, okay. But Pyro, GG, I guess. Pyro drew a comic of, of me receiving the backpack. Um, and it was just absolutely adorable. So I, it was my uh, phone home screen for a very long time. Can I keep this? Yeah, you can keep it. The backpack. <laughs> you can keep your DS hinges. Should I, should I switch to my other DS? I have no idea. I'm dead, I'm by the way. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, I'll try to get rid of this Dragonite. Get, aim for Alakazam, please. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't. Oh god, we might lose then. Because Alakazam outspeeds and kills me. Fine. What battle is this? The last one. It's not the last one. That's what happens when MKK is just flipping a coin every turn. Listen. I My instinct was let's get rid of Dragonite because it will absolutely obliterate Salamence if it comes out. Yachiberry? No, no Yachiberry. Okay. Did you see that comment? That's so cute. Um, if you go into the Discord, I think Pyro... Like, Pyro should have it, and he should be able to link it. <laughs> My DS is falling apart. I can't... I don't think I can keep using this. I think I have to switch controllers. Like, okay, generally. I'm gonna focus on Charizard, I think. Because okay. I, I can one-shot Ch Charizard, but I can't one-shot Alakazam. What you looking for? The comic where I get the backpack, Pyro. I actually outspeed Alakazam? Zapdos only has 100 base speed. What is this Alakazam on? Alakazam has 135 base speed, doesn't it? Or is... Oh no, it doesn't. It's got 135 special. It's only got 120 speed, right? It's actually not as fast as you think it would be. Yeah, I think Alakazam is actually slower than you think it is. Because I remember yeah, encountering speed. an Alakazam somewhere and being like, wow, this Alakazam is slower than I thought it would be. I believe it's running charge beam. It's electric coverage. 
Charge Beam is a move. I love how I'm not even threatened by it getting the boost because it's like, whatever. <laughs> like, one shots everything with Psychic anyway. It's Alakazam. I'm in Torrent now, so I'll kill it. Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? I'm, I thought I made myself pretty clear. I need an entire uh, copy pasta. That's just what the fuck did you just say to me about you going into Torrent? All right, I need to switch controllers. Um, I'm going to do that real quick. Give me like a hot second. Okay, just... I'll just I'll be entertaining um, while I wait for you. Wow, this DS is just it's just totally it is smashed up. I will I will send a picture in Discord, maybe okay. if I remember. Do a dance. All right, I'm Later. doing a dance right now. To the Lottie Land. To, to Lottie Land. To Lottie Land. Oh, um, it did. The server did just used to be called Guinea Lottie, but I got renamed to Lottie Land because that was just what Kellogg's kept calling it, and I, I quite liked the name, so it's Lottie Land. Now. I. What controller do you, I? I guess I'll just go get my. I guess I'll just plug in my GameCube controller. I genuinely. I'm not sure what controller to use here. So I use a I'll GameCube controller. Back. Ocean Landers, yeah, that's us. But yeah, I'm I'm doing a dance right now. Um, sometimes we dance. Actually, not. That's a lie. I have no reason to lie to you because I could just do a dance. It wouldn't be much effort. But I felt then I, I like I lied. It didn't feel good, and then I felt the need to be honest. You know what I mean? Honesty is what keeps us sane. Honesty is what makes us human. Honesty is okay. how we are who we are. I already have the um, the thing plugged in, so I'm just going to use my GBA. Okay. Well, I'm awaiting response from a friend whenever you're ready. Uh... In the comic, can I check out? I actually want to see it again while I wait. Config. What the hell is that in general? Input. Alright, whatever. Um... Joy, uh, wireless GB GB adapter. Okay, okay, good, cool. I mean, there's no, we, there's no did. pressure. I'd like to say to join the server, right? It's just the easiest way to, to link. To be, it's just the easiest way to link it. <laughs> if you don't want to join the server, I won't. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. I, yeah, you didn't ask to see Thank it. Thank you, but I didn't ask for it. Yeah, you more. didn't, you didn't ask to see it. It was, it was Charlotte that asked to see it. It's like, you know, I, I won't feel offended even if you're, uh, even if you've been suddenly pinged by, by Pyro about it. Don't worry. I, I know that you didn't ask. Words were put into your mouth. Okay, I, I just go for Earthquake again. In a hot spot there? No worries. The thing with linking the Discord is that I like to link it, and I like to make people know it's an option. Like, it's not just a way to connect with me off stream, but we also have a... If you're subscribed to me, then you can get additional perks there. The YouTube is the YouTube I'll pressure you about. The YouTube I'll break down your door and break your kneecaps. But the Discord server, I know that I oh. don't join random streamer Discord servers. Because like why would you, right? Like why would you do that to yourself? That's so committal. It's so pressuring. I'm not gonna make anyone do that even remotely. Health Austrian Lottie Land, you know it. I'm so sad that we don't I, have anything will, to take out Blastoise. I will post in the Pokemon channel a picture of my DS. Okay. I will I will look at it. You haven't done it. All I see is give Dragapult parental bonds. All I see are terrible takes. My time for Blastoise to erase me. Yeah, Blastoise is gone. Blastoise no sorry, uh Gliscor is gone. Gliscor is yeah. Gyarados, I don't feel so good. No one lives that. God, I love Gliscor so much. Paradox, Gliscor win. Alright, it's there. No. It's there? Okay. Ah, uh, double team, you'll have to see it, you'll have to see it. Uh. Oh. I see the S here. Why did you do that to it, do you think? Were you, I didn't! Were you angry? I right. didn't if do you, that to it. If you use Waterfall was, on Umbreon, I'll take out Blastoise. It was one of those things they refer to as an accident. Okay, I'll I'll take care of Umbreon. 
I've been. I bet you miss. That's just what you do. I won't miss. That's what your Pokemon do. What do you mean? That's just what you do. <laughs> I take offense to that. Am I wrong? Did you or did you not miss repeatedly with Zen Headbutt on your Metagross? That was just Zen Headbutt. Okay, you didn't miss. I like that the, the child version of you in this comic has a cat ear headband to yeah. replicate your cat ear headphones. Well, I mean, it just makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes perfect sense, but you know. What I like is that that Umbreon dead ass just hit my last Pokemon with Mean Look. <laughs> I'm a big Umbreon fan. Unfortunately, <laughs> Umbreon, oh, Umbreon looks like it's Umbreon looks like it's being underfed. Like it looks really skinny. Okay, I don't actually know what to do about Swampert. Return. Uh, do I just hidden power it? I have nothing for Swampert. Return. Why don't I'm you... using return. Waterfall will do so much more. This is the time. It's time for return. Waterfall will be stronger. It's time for return. Like waterfall will do more damage. <laughs> but <laughs> return. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make a difference. You can't, can't take this away from me. I really want to use return at some point. It actually, oh God. it actually might have made a difference. Yeah, what if all can flinch? No, Lumberry heals confusion. It might have made a difference if it heals with leftovers, because then I won't be able to kill it with hidden power. So I'll just kill it with waterfall. Or return. I could also use return. Alternatively, uh, Zapdos is kind of bulky. I don't think this dies. Yeah. Nah. Freeze? You're good. Yeah. No shot! Yeah, every time. <laughs> no shot. Serene Gray Swampert. Serene Gray Swampert. Yeah, right. Genuine question: Do I earthquake here instead of waterfall? No, I want the Swampert gone. Because then it's down to it's like it's only Umbreon left on that side. So just, oh, okay. just take it out. One turn. That's crazy. You will never beat my 10 turn freeze in the Emerald Battle Tower. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see. This Umbreon has no attacking moves, by the way, does it? It just has, like, mean look, Confuse Ray. D I don't, a double I think team? It's, it's double team Confuse Ray. It's meant to be a Confusion Staller. Double team Confuse Ray, mean look. I, I, it's other I thought move, this had Facade or something. It's other moves must be an attack, right? It must have, like, Payback or something stupid. Because Umbreon yeah. doesn't really get very good stuff. Or Payback. That's what I said. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, payback. only one turn. I know this probably won't kill it, but, like, it did use Double Team, so... May as well just do this twice, right? Alternatively, Zapdos uh... is a goddamn monster. List of battle frontier Pokemon. You still have the opportunity to hit yourself when there's no one else there. <laughs> um, where? Which? Which list is it gonna be on? Do you do you ever just hurt yourself and no one else is around to see? Oh no! You know what it is? It's a uh, it's double team confuse me confuse Ray mean look toxic. It's a toxic confuse Ray stalling. Um, that set is on. that set is ass. I mean, okay, actually, wow. it's actually really close to the competitive set, quote unquote, I had for my Umbreon, but mine had um, Wish and Protect instead of uh, Mean Look and Double Team. I like Umbreon because it's so surprisingly bulky. I, I do really like, I really, really like that it doesn't like look Umbreon. bulky at all. Yeah. Like, you don't think of Umbreon as bulky, and then it, it actually is, turns out to be quite bulky. Can I just say I really that- like. And also, also, Dark is an amazing type. Just, like, genuinely. It's just... a really great type. Can I say that Glaceon oh. was actually a lot of fun to use? Really? G Glaceon's stats are weird. It is really bulky on the physical side. Like, I could- I would use I could Glaceon switch it into, in... like, golems and stuff, and it just- Took it. 
Like, <laughs> just... I would use Glaceon in Gen 4, but um, it you, I don't. It's so it's available so late in the game, unfortunately. I did it for the Gen Lock. That's what I used. I used it in Platinum. Because yes, you get it so late, but at the same time, it was like, go on. I've never used a Glaceon before, and oh my god, it was so fun. One shot Giratina as well. Speaking of evolutions, I like Espeon. I think Floatzel. I think these both actually outspeed me. But Wouldn't be surprised. Floatzel, Floatzel is really fast. Floatzel is actually not as fast as you ever think it is. It's one of those Pokemon that's like you think of it as being really fast, and then you look at its stats I think and you're it's like, because oh. Of Swift Swim. I think it's because of Swift Swim. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to try to take out Espeon? Uh. Yes. Oh, no, I'm faster. Gotta go back to work. Anyone want to set a fire in the bathroom so I can go home early? I have never set fire to any bathrooms. My school did have a, um... I like that you say that as if that's a thing people do commonly. Well. Wow. That's the story Come I was on. about to tell, to be fair. <laughs> Your school had a what? <laughs> yeah, like, you're like, oh, that's a... Th like, you say that as though it's a thing that happens in the middle of me talking about how it's a thing that happened. So every school, right, when you were in high school, you had those times and there'd be a fire drill and you'd have to go and stand out in the in the field for a bit and you'd wait and it was awful. But there were always a couple times when, of course, it wasn't actually a drill. And one of those times was when someone had been smoking in the boys' bathroom and had just not put out their cigarette and just put it in the plastic bin. And uh, it just all burned. <laughs> Fire just dead ass spread. I was like, alright. I mean, there's water in the bathroom, so it's fine. Oh, th yeah, actually, but, that's know. true, that's true. You know, I, yeah, actually, you raised a really good point. Okay, probably worth, How I... did the smoking itself not set off the fire alarm? But it, then the. It did. Oh. We, if, if it's a drill, they don't tell you it's a drill. That defeats the point. Well, okay. The, I think I focus on Starmie here, honestly. They did it. They did at my school. Uh, I can just earthquake here. They don't tell you it's a drill until you're outside in the field. Then they're like, "Oh, it's yeah, a drill. Yeah, don't yeah. worry." They don't. They don't tell you like when the fire alarm goes off. Yeah, it's like because otherwise you you have to respect it. You know, like you can't just. Yeah. One time I was at school and there was a tornado warning and we had to take shelter at the school it was literally five minutes before i left and my dad was there to pick me up and he just stayed outside in the car and i was like but there's a tornado warning he was like yeah whatever <laughs> and my teacher was like you can't leave like we're not allowed to let you leave but then my dad was just like um, and then eventually they were like, okay, good. But then I had to Double sit for like two hours. Double freeze. Okay, but imagine if it had. Imagine if it had single froze. I always made an announcement at the start of the day if there was a fire drill for the day. Germany is wired differently. But that defeats the point, right? Like, if you know it's a fire drill, you're going to mess around an awful lot more. I mean, I think most people usually assumed it was a drill and the fire alarm went off during school. That's good though, that's actually why- that's a- so, okay, the reason that they will tell you as teachers that they do them is so that, you know, you, you always take it seriously and you know what you're doing, but a, an actual psychological reason is that that way, if it's a real fire, you don't freak out, you think it's just a drill. You don't worry, you know you can get out in plenty of time, you know you're gonna be okay, you know you can get out the fire exits, and you just think, oh, okay. That's it's just a drill. It's fine. Everything's okay. Was that? And then later that, on, you find out that? that Billy burned to death. That was battle number thirty-five. Yeah, I was gonna say we're actually doing quite well. Yeah, thirty-five out of forty-nine. Forty-nine, and then we've got our second victory. This is close to a PB, right? Like not ignoring the one where we actually won. I think our PB is like thirty-seven. Yeah, our it's... kicker is thirty-seven, our kicker. right? Yeah, it's 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 close. Like the point at which we start going this is really good.
I just checked and it is 36. 36 is the highest we made it apart from 49. So. Wait, seriously? <laughs> oh my god, we suck. Right, whatever. So we just need to win two one more time, battles and we're doing really one well. One time one of my teachers was reading an announcement to our class and he was like, he was like, at the end of next period, there will be a fire drill. And then he read the next line, which is, please do not inform the students about the drill. <laughs> oh my god, I was given a sh- He okay. was like, all right, pretend you don't know. And I we was like, okay, I, man. I was called up once by a teacher. She was just like, oh, Charlotte, can you take this to the head teacher really quickly? And it was like, um, sure. Do I, do, do I just rock slide rather than aerializing? And you both sounded like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd rock slide. Um, and it was like, and I went up. And, you know, she was just like, yeah, just take this to the head teacher. And I looked at the note. And it said, it, it was instructions. It wasn't a message. It was instructions to me to go somewhere else. And it was what? like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It was it was like, go to this base um, and talk to this person. And it was like, I don't like this. And this is freaky. And I was terrified because I was just like, oh my god, what if my mom died? And this is them telling me. You know, like, what if it's something like that? Um, it turned out that it was, I was, uh, I, I was being called in to act as basically a witness that another kid had been being bullied and it's like I have not seen anything I do not talk to this person I don't know why you asked me but holy shit to be I fair, didn't like that that is sus as a hell like it's like this is a note for the head teacher it's actually instructions to go do something else that's like a secret it was freaky that's some like CIA spy gets a note that's like don't destroy this as soon as you read it like it's like that's creepy i don't i don't why, like that. why why chelsea chelsea why did you get a salak boost and then switch chelsea i think chelsea predicted that i was gonna use earthquake also glyscore yo chelsea's tripping <laughs> chelsea glyscore mirror match i wonder who will win fine yeah, probably yours. Because their one's probably specced really badly. And their one is also male, so yours is better. Actually, what is the uh, what is the Gliscor set that this is likely to be? Because we saw it before and it was ass. Chelsea's calls are beyond our comprehension. So there was one time where they switched out of a Badoo on turn one and switched into a combi. And I still have no idea what they were cooking. Has it used anything? The life score? No. Well, we'll learn this turn which set it is. We probably won't. Oh, you're out speeding, right? Oh, I missed. Oh, never mind. Ice Fang. Oh, it's the one with the elemental fangs. Earthquake, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang. Holding a Razor Fang. I was really hoping it would be the. I was really hoping it would be the Gly score that's holding a Yachi Berry, so I could be like, lol. But it isn't. It's a rip. I'm sad I had to use Rock Slide on a Gliscor, but Choice Band do be that way. I would have much rather used Ice Fang myself. Everyone would have used Ice Fang that turn. Would yeah. have been like Christmas all over again. You get an Ice Fang. You get an Ice Fang. Everybody right, gonna, gets an Ice Fang. I'm gonna BM this pincer by using Return on it. Well, lie, yeah, I was hoping I would have frozen a crit yet. No, 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 I'm just built different. Can we talk about this Endure right here? Like, can we just talk about it? Using Endure in doubles. Using Endure Good when idea. you've already burned your Salak Berry. Using Endure when you burned your Salak Berry and then just switched out. Chelsea's goals really are beyond our comprehension. Is this game mode vanilla? This is vanilla. This is just in the game. These are actual sets made by actual game developers who clearly the have Battle never Tower played their own games. trainers just have really terrible, weird choices on their Pokemon and awful AI. Sometimes they have good sets. And, those are, and by good sets, I mean 
like RNG shit fests. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Sand Veil, Bright Powder. Good sets and they are relatively likely to win, not good sets as in they're intelligently designed. Yeah. But yes. Yeah, if they actually Very wandered rarely. in... If they wandered in with a team like ours, like, most teams would get crushed by that. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Like, if they just had a bunch of, like... Like, even just, like, Gliscor and Flygon as leads just spamming Choice Band Earthquake, those would do so much better than half the crap in here. <laughs> Stretching. All right. Have you seen the video? Have you seen the video where the <laughs> the person made a turn a round robin tournament with every AI trainer in Pokemon Crystal? <laughs> no. I think he told me about it before, though. Someone should do that with all the battle tower sets. Which one's the best? Oh, crap! You can't even easily fight Quagsire because we don't know if Waterfall will even hurt it. But I can use Earthquake. <sighs> When in doubt, use Earthquake. When in doubt, quake it out. Exactly. I hope you've been stretching and hydrating every time people have been redeeming it. I have been stretching, but I don't have water, so I cannot hydrate, water. unfortunately. Why did you say it like water. that? Water. Water. I like to say it like that. I don't actually don't say it like off. that. But occasionally I just say it like that for fun, you know? Because it's silly. Water. Water. Thank you for the five bits. I will spend them on something pretty. Like, uh, one of those horrible strawberries. Or a mosaic square! I remember seeing those for sale in an art shop once for one pence each. Which is crazy, there's no way you'd ever see mosaic squares for that price nowadays. And people see scissors instead of scissors? I don't- I don't think anyone says scissors. <laughs> No, people say skizzers like to be funny, but they don't. They don't actually. I don't think anybody actually pronounces it that way. Team skizzers, let's go, lesbians. I thought you said you were keeping your stream PG thirteen. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it was PG thirteen until you pointed out it wasn't. Uh, it's true. I just earthquake and you can ice fang, Yan Mega. I almost used return on Yan Mega. That would have been funny. It would have done very similar damage. Because Ice Fang is terrible. It's tree. Maybe I should have should have used Return, considering that. Nah, it does it does a lot more than I got. Ice Fang for. can miss. Okay, the 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 team scissors. Let's go lesbians. Was like that was people were saying that in Splatoon three. The very first, um, the very first. Uh, oh crap! What are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but the things where people pick a team and then fight against each other in Splatoon 3. It, the first one they did was rock, paper, and scissors. And scissors they gave to lesbian icon Shiver. See, oh my god, we got it? We got the freeze? No, we didn't. We didn't get the freeze. No. Okay, I obviously switch here. But yeah, like that that it was a thing people were saying there for in Splatoon 3. It was Team Scissors, let's go lesbians. I don't I don't I didn't I didn't I forgot I had grasshoppers in my fridge. My sister's found them and she's excited. Is your sister a lizard? <laughs> that that's called deflection. <laughs> That reminds me of, of when when my mom was like, I got this new bed frame. It's made out of organic wood. And I was like, are you a beaver? <laughs> Why? Sorry, hold on. Can we just go back? Why do you have grasshoppers in your fridge? That's not where they live. Yeah, better question. Just why are the grasshoppers in the fridge? Yeah, they live in the grass. They... I, are you aware that people eat them? People don't eat grasshoppers. You're, you're, ones, you're getting confused. You're thinking of lizards. No. I'm not. That's not what I was thinking of, actually. Perhaps they have. This guy gave me a bag of grasshoppers. That's how, uh... Who is this guy? That's how James and the Giant Peach started, right? James was given a bag of magic wormy things. And then he accidentally trips and drops them all, and they all burrow inside of a... Of, like, a peach thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how that story starts. 
I haven't read James and the Giant Peach since I was barely old enough to know how to read. Look, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. What caused the Giant Peach? In what a thing to look James up. James and the Giant Peach. The, the tongues, yeah. It's all the little, it's all the, it's all the tongues, the little wiggly, wormy things. Yeah. It's actually highly debated within the James and the Giant Peach fandom. Yeah, Tokiki was dead ass given a, a bag of magic tongues that will grow a, a peach tree. It's like the magic beans in the in Into the Woods. A client came into work, gave me a bag of grasshoppers for my dad. I just forgot to give them to him. Where do you now work? My sister's a lizard. What, what, <laughs> what job? Yeah, a client came into work and gave me a bag of grass. First of all, where do you work? Second of all, what does your dad do? Um, is your dad, dad a lizard? Their dad is a lizard. Full time lizard. <laughs> Professional <laughs> lizard. lizard. The lizard. This, their sister inherited the lizard from their dad. Lizard at law. Professional lizard. Was a screen my questions and answers? So answer the questions. Why was your sister excited? Because she's a lizard. We sell we auto parts. Have you have you ever paid for a spare tire with a bag of grasshoppers before? Do you sell them to the the fae in the woods where like you can pay with grasshoppers? We need to get rid of this process. Remember last time we almost lost to a process in the 49th battle? Ah, don't I worry. remember that. Don't Let's worry get about rid of that. this. Don't worry about that. It's fine. No, I am worried about that. Actually, we have aerial ace this time, so it's not as big of a deal. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Feel me? Earthquake is actually as strong as Rock Slide. So it would have been a stupid play to click rock slide like I was going to. No, Alakazam. <laughs> You're so sexy. No, don't do it, Alakazam. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even KO. OMG, Alan, you didn't. <laughs> Haven't seen that meme in so long. I love that meme. Because Ellen just no longer exists in the public eye. She said they were gross, but now my other sister's now my munching older on them. Sister. <sighs> you have two sisters. You have two sisters. Are they alive? Sisters. Well, I mean, I don't I've... think they're. I don't think they would be alive. Not the munched on ones, but like the other ones. You are aware that people, like you, you, you were you joking when you said that people don't eat grasshoppers because people do eat grasshoppers. No, they don't. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's like saying people denying eat fish. things that are true doesn't make them false. I didn't even know Frostlass could learn Thunderbolt, by the way. Me either. If I like some held dead. forks instead of spoons, I would have a new favorite Pokemon. Why did you s sense? Okay. Well, I have speed Frostlass, which is good. So you just take out Pinsir. Okay. I'm down. I don't like Pinsir. I'm I'll get rid of Pinsir. I'm going fishing tomorrow? Yeah, but you, people go fishing just to look at the pretty fish, right? Like, they don't go fishing for any other reason. You know what's funny? My dad really likes fishing, but he never catches anything. So we make fun of him for never catching any fish, despite the fact that he goes fishing. One time, my dad and I went fishing, and there was a... There was a point at which fish were jumping out of the water around us. And you know how many fish my dad caught on that excursion? Probably none, based on the story. Yeah. It... Yeah. Literally none. Not even one. Zero. Like, he was like, he was like, I don't think there's any fish in this lake. And then the fish started jumping out of the water around us, and he still didn't catch any fish. So, it was hilarious. Pe Another time we took my cousins fishing, and they both caught, like, five fish, and my dad still didn't catch any fish. Right, but fishing is just for the, the thrill of the game, you know? It's not for... It's called fishing, not catching. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fishing's for the. Th it's okay. not. You don't go fishing and think I'm gonna catch some fish today. Why did you use Dragon Claw, not Aerial Ace? Why are you this way? Because it doesn't matter. And because I don't like Aerial Ace. What the fuck? I guess it does matter. <laughs> it matters immensely. Uh, anyway, so the the funny thing about um. Okay, so the reason why I go fishing with my dad is just because we just chat while we're fishing. 
you know? Why? You don't really... What do you mean, why? Why do you chat? Because I like talking to my family. Weird. Like, my parents and I go fishing and we talk. Because we like talking to each other. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, sometimes we don't talk. Yeah, I thought... Usually it's like... My dad wants to go fishing, so we come with him and we just keep him company, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit in silence while he snorts the fish. Does it, actually, is that the... Oh my what? god, is that the problem? Does he eat all the all the grasshoppers so you're not able to catch any of the fish? Oh yeah, no, that's the problem. Um, so the... The... The thing about fishing is, like, if you fish as a hobby, there's a good chance you're not actually catching anything that you can do anything other than just release like you can't catch the fish and eat them because you won't get enough meat out of a fish that you catch to eat fish it. aren't made of meat they're made of fish you won't get enough fish out of it no i'm pretty sure it's still called meat like if you're if you're talking cooking terms i'm pretty sure it's actually still called meat nah they don't call it meat they call it fish that's what jimmy fallon calls it on his cooking show? Yes. Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> cooking show. The most reputable source for information about fish. Do you eat fish, or are you a vegetarian who also avoids fish? Okay, this that is exactly, like, the joke I was making. Is that, um... As a, as a child, when I complained to the dinner school ladies that they didn't actually have a vegetarian option, they said that they had fish fingers. And my response as a seven-year-old child or however old I was was fish are not plants so does that answer your question fish are not plants yes because you just said you complained that they didn't have a vegetarian option when they had fish fingers which means that you don't eat fish yes exactly wait so are you vegetarian or vegan vegetarian no milk uh, isn't plants milk isn't plants no but it isn't it, it's it's not a dead thing which is the general rule for a vegetarian. I mean, technically, when you eat plants, it is a dead thing. I'm not trying to be... When like, I eat you, you'll be a dead those, thing. I'm not trying to be one of those people who's like, checkmate vegetarians. I'm just, you know. It is honestly, ex like, okay, being a vegetarian who does maths, I hear, like, all of the same things over and over again. It's just like, whoa, well, here's a thing you've never heard of. Those carrots were actually alive. Yeah, I know. If you love I, animals so much, how come you keep eating all their food? So I that's think like, that's like, an. I think arguments against being vegetarian are dumb because there's no there's no reason not to be vegetarian as long as you make sure you're getting. There's the no reason bit. not to be vegan. I just you know. Yeah. Seems like like nothing's marked as vegan. It's a the lot only, more effort. The only thing you have. I was there's brave. Only, the only reason <laughs> not 50 -50. to is because. The only reason not to is because there are certain nutrients that are more that are not pre that aren't present in your diets if you are vegetarian or vegan. But you you could just take a supplement or whatever. Well, you could also just eat like th there is food that exists like beans give you all, all the protein you need like beans pulses other legumes give you protein. There's nothing you'll be missing out on. I mean, it's more an issue if you're vegan, because you don't eat dairy and you need calcium. And... Vitamin... Do you say vitamin or vitamin? Vit vitamin. I just have to think about it, but vitamin does not feel right. I can't believe you keep using waterfall. Like, okay, rather, okay, keep using it because that's fine, but I can't believe you used it to begin with. That is crazy to me. When there was a 50% chance it just did nothing. Oh, is it double teamed? I wasn't paying attention. That was Storm Drain was more what I was thinking of. Oh. That was... I didn't know Cradilly had Storm Drain. It's like it's a big thing, right? It doesn't only I don't F. know anything about Cradilly. It's Cradilly. What are its weaknesses? Go. Oh, it doesn't get Storm... It's his hidden ability in Gen 5 onwards. I associate it so heavily with that. Aha! Alright, find you on this one. 
I do in this one. Pr Actually, you know why? Cordelli's weaknesses. Go, a... go, go. Quick, quick, quick. You have five seconds. You know, it's because in Gen 3, um, this is very, a oh, very weird reason for me to know this. Didn't even try. But in Gen 3, I saw someone battle Cradilly once and they used a water type move, so that's why I used a water type move. Didn't even try. Like, oh. Didn't even try to list Cradilly's weaknesses. Didn't even try. No, I didn't try. Fighting, ice, Grass. bug, steel, fibs. Fibs. I say it every time Cradilly comes it's up. Fibs. Fighting, ice, Fighting bug, ice steel. bug, steel. Fibs. 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 Maybe next time I'll get it. I it's hope weak so. to rock. No, it's not. Fibs. Fibs. Fighting ice, bug, steel. Fighting ice, bug, steel. Colby and Quincy. Fibs. God, I'd read their story. Okay, so I obviously just earthquake here. I mean, I'm just gonna earthquake. I think Blazer can. Really oh, no, no, stop it, Charlotte. Shut, shut up. I was like, I think Blazer can use his protect here for speed boost. Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. As if the AI is smart enough to There's use- There's no speed boost Blaziken in Jet 4. <laughs> As if the AI is, would ever be smart enough to use Protect for speed boost anyway. Fighting ice rock steel. Furs. <laughs> Furs. It's weak to hydrogen bomb. I mean, I think every Pokemon is probably- Is there a Pokemon that, like, it can survive a hydrogen bomb? Um, yeah, uh, Raichu. Raichu? Yeah, Raichu. Raichu can canonically survive a hydrogen bomb. No, Actually, like there's a Pokedex that says like it's something can its shell can it's survive shell, an atom yeah. bomb. Yeah, I'm trying to think of which Pokemon it is. Pokemon survive an at an atom bomb. So hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. The, the funniest version I saw of it was when someone switched it around to be Hydrogen Baby versus Coughing Bomb to show that a Choice Band Bug Bite Caterpie can one-hit KO Wo Chen. <laughs> uh, so oh my god, I looked up Pokemon Survive an Atom Bomb and... Pokemon Uranium came up. Oh god, kill it. Kill it with fire. A Pokemon kill Uranium is the... It's not the worst. It's maybe like the second worst of all of the hyped up ROM hacks. Or well fan games. What's the worst? The worst one is Pokemon Reborn. There is no question. Pokemon Reborn is a disgusting product. Is that the one that's like tries to be edgy? That's the one that is so edgy that it actually involves real-world tragedies and suicides and plays them off as jokes. Cool. That's a good idea. I love the hacks. There are multiple hacks that are like, this hack is very dark. It's not your grandma's Pokemon hack. And then it's just like people die in the story. Like people die in regular Pokemon stories too? Yeah, but, but, but Pikachu says fuck. Pikachu says fuck. Ah, uh, X Scissor on Gyarados. Okay, little buddy. I literally, I can't find. Maybe I made up this thing about the Pokemon whose shell can withstand an atom bomb, because I cannot find it. But I, but I said shell before you did. I've heard it before. <laughs> I gave up when I found a, a, a forum post where someone said, Do you reckon the character I don't know's pussy could survive an atom bomb exploding inside of it? What the hell did you Google search? I Googled Pokemon in quotes atom bomb. I don't believe you. Well? No, I Googled Pokemon in quotes withstand an atom bomb. Have you ever seen? I thought that's what it was. Have you ever seen Reversal Scissor before? No, and I think with good reason. It, it it's 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 a new set to me. I didn't actually know Scissor got Reversal, but it's not that confusing when you consider that Pichu can learn Reversal. I love Pichu. I I I loved Pichu an awful lot more, like half a year ago. 
Oh, before you did that solo Pichu run? Before I did the solo Pichu run, yeah. Did you also like Kecleon a lot more? Kecleon can rot in hell next to Delibar. I do love these these solo runs of uh, or these challenge runs have made me appreciate certain Pokemon, and made me absolutely despise other ones. <laughs> like I love Granbull now. I love Ursaring. I hate Delibird. I hope it dies. That's reasonable. Delibird is uh, known for being. Delibird, Delibird itself. hurt me. Delibird... Unapologetically itself. When you say it like that, I sound like a, a horrible person. Like, but everyone should be unapologetically themselves, I, I think. Unless, you know, you're a bad person, in which case, Unless don't, you're the don't developers of Pokemon Reborn. Oh my god. I don't know what her deal is. What? It's a woman? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'd be cancelled. No, you're as you're as bad as MKK. You can't just say like, oh, oh, I can't be myself. I'd be cancelled for it. No. Um. Okay. I think. Do I just be? No. I just use earthquake. There's no thought process. Just just <laughs> brain empty. No thoughts. No thoughts. Just earthquake. Click earthquake. I was always challenged just for having grasshoppers. Okay, to be fair though, you worded the grasshopper thing in such a fascinating way that I had to know more. I required more I mean, information. You still have not explained why someone gave you a bag of grasshoppers for your dad. Or when why you sell one auto of parts. Or why your sister was excited. Or why your other sister was munching on them when she was not the one that was even excited about them in the first place. All of these things are deeply confusing. I'm just- I- I love the double earthquakes. Oh, Bray Powder. Man, why are you running Bray Powder wall, Rain? Why are you doing that to me? I think that means Earthquake does more to Hariyama, though, right? Oh, come on! Oh. Come on! <laughs> It's every time with this fucking wall, Is that rain. necessary? It's every Is that time! Necessary? Bro, just use Ice Beam! Is that the second Sheer Cold? That's we, the third! It's the third? No uh -huh. shot. Because there's already a clip of me going, Oh, again? <laughs> there's already a clip of me. Oh, and of course the Hariyama has Ice Punch, because why wouldn't it? <sighs> I don't know why he brought this to my dad either. He said, and if he wants more, let me know. I let him walk out, but I didn't know his name or have his contact info. What is your dad well known in your is it a family owned <laughs> auto? Dad's a well known Dad's a well known lizard. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like is he well known in the auto parts <laughs> industry? I don't know what's I don't know what's going on here with the lizards. This is just what happens in Detroit. They live in Texas. Oh yeah. I I didn't know that. Or I didn't remember that that's where that person lived. So I said Detroit because that's where the auto parts industry has a lot of places, and it's funny because it's Detroit. Family on business, well known. I'm in Dallas, Detroit. That's well not enough. That's the wrong number of things to. To censor Detroit. <laughs> um, okay, to be fair, sometimes Twitch just censors things because it wants to. Really? Yeah. Okay, I, I think, don't believe you. I think you just Earthquake and I just Thunderbolt Probopass. Rip. I love Probopass. Well, I I love Gliscor, but no, Sheer Cold. <laughs> that is the fourth time I have been hit by Sheer Cold Wall Rain on stream. You said it was the third. But I also got hit by it once at the gen lock. Oh. <laughs> Is this sheer cold wall rain in what game? Emerald? The one you play? Oh, yeah. Should have just used Outrage on Rayquaza. That could have been very problematic. This could still be very problematic, I'd like to say. Drop edible sized fish picks. <laughs> I'm so 
Right, okay, so you've got your well-owned family business, but sometimes the family takes a whole break to go off and fish. What does that sentence mean? I dropped edible-sized fish picks. Every sentence you say makes me appreciate life just that little bit more, Togeki. Never stop being your crazy self. Yeah, be yourself. Isn't that the message of the stream? Be yourself. It's certainly the message now. So no one ever catches fish with enough meat? Fish don't have meat, they're fish! They have fish. Oh my god, those fish are huge! Yo! Oh, oh edible si- Oh, I thought you meant edible like the size of a weed edible. I was like, what? I, I am in awe of that being where your mind, that would even Oh my god, somebody posted the dentist said I grind in my sleep meme in, in the memes channel, let's go. Even the word edible doesn't actually bring marijuana to mind for me. We, we live very different lives, I think, you and I. To be fair, we actually, we barely know each other. We've only, we only met, what, three hours and 40 minutes ago? When we started stream. No, you're not going along with that one. That was... What's the opposite of yes and? <laughs> Where they just stare at you with dead eyes and a slack jaw. That's what that was right there. What battle is this? This is battle number 42. Oh, n no, no, no. Still there. Okay, I'm guessing that someone walked in. So I'll just... Camper Freddy. Oh, Freddy like the, like the Fazbear. In the oh my god, it's like a reference to, like, uh, the movie that just came out. The Fazbear from the movie! Okay, so I obviously rock slide here rather than earthquaking. Um, I'd prefer you to take an Aerodactyl. Gyarados is- I hate to say this, because this feels wrong, but... Gyarados is less of a- a threat. Just because Aerodactyl's so fast. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gyarados can- Gyarados, there's a few things that Aerodactyl, I feel like, can do to us that Gyarados definitely can't. So Gar I'll, I'll... Gyarados is just slow enough that it scares me less. I'll try to deal with Aerodactyl. Stone oh, Edge, no. but it missed. Hippic. Oh, yes. If if y'all win, can I throw a pillow at my flatmate? Yes. That's not something we dictate. That's not something that I can and or if cannot. If you lose, you can also throw a pillow at your flatmate. Yeah, I can't, like... I can't take that away from you. Really. The world of Gyarados got rock slide, am I right? I'm still shook by the fact I can't get it. Society of Gyarados got me, rock slide. <laughs> me running rock slide and crunch on my Gyarados. Rock slide, crunch, um, drill pack. Goodbye, Gliscor. Actually, you might. Gliscor is a monster, defensively, but I don't have any bulk invested, so I'm, I don't hold out hope. But it was intimidated. Oh my god, it would have lived even if it wasn't intimidated. Gliscor is such a monster. Okay, if you just waterfall Lucky Lucky, then I can rocks like kill Gyarados. Golem's red blue deck and just says it can survive dynamite blast. Does him somewhere? No, it was, it was generally, it's it's shell. Must have been something weird like Catacosta or... Like, I would just check the stuff that learns Shell Smash more than anything else. I already checked everything turtle adjacent. Weird, I remember it. I, I genuinely have no idea what it was. Genuinely have no idea. This Lucky Lucky has been hit with two flinching moves, and yet. And... Yet. You'll note that it was hit with two moves that can cause flinching, both having a 30% chance. It broke out, and it paralyzed Gyarados with a body slam. Bruh. Average Lucky Lucky. God's weakest Lucky Lucky. Okay, I guess you just Earthquake here. Like, no offense, Electivire, but I'm really not afraid of you, buddy. Oh, 
closing time. Thank you for stream. Much luck. Thank you very much for being here, Togeki. Have a nice day. I hope you get more grasshoppers or something. I hope we do have much luck, because this is this is a really far point to make it in this challenge. Have a nice night. Or a nice evening, even. If it paralyzes me again, I quit. Rage quitting. Rage quitting. Rage quitting right now. It's over. My rage quit. You're rage quitting to Electivire and Licky Licky? I'm rage quitting because Licky Licky paralyzed twice while we failed to flinch like four opponents. Like on four separate flinch chances. They all failed. Cloister and Fire Red. Maybe that's it. Maybe the Cloister one from Fire Red. Yeah, Sugar Bear's not helping. No way, that's dead. Electivar has like no defense for some reason. I don't it looks like it should, at least to me, but it doesn't have like any defense whatsoever. Thank you for the stretch block. Keeping me alive. Nice. Oh, that so, was your, that was your do, earthquake. Do you, do you want to hear a do you hear a fun fact? Is it fun? Uh, it's the most mentally ill thing about me. Um. Uh. That 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 sounds like it could very well not be fun. Is it about I own the voices? Seven copies of the Super Mario Galaxy games. Okay, that could have been an awful lot worse. Yeah, I just got my seventh in. What? Why though? Um, I'm trying to get all of the. Oh no no no! Yes yes, I remember regions. this. Okay, you're not just. It's not just because you're insane. No, I have an I have an English, a PAL, a Japanese copy of both games, and then I have a. I just got my Chinese copy of. Can Galaxy I just say too. there is nothing more American than saying that you have an English and a PAL version? I have a NTSCU. And a PAL version, sorry. I was thinking of it as as opposed to Japanese. But what it really is is it's it's a US, a PAL, and a Japanese version. Let's which is what I usually say. But it's I, I don't know why I said English. Alright, so long as it was just a one-time slip up, you can keep your kneecaps. Yeah. Electivire is such a whack yeah, mod. Looks like it really doesn't fit a stat spread. Yeah, Electivire's stats are not good. Like, okay, Electivire's stats are actually okay, they're not terrible. But it doesn't... It just doesn't work. <laughs> like, it just doesn't work. Tobias and Samuel. This is like a really awful version of, like, Simon and Garfunkel. What okay. is Simon and Garfunkel? They sing. Okay, I use Earthquake, you use Ice Fang, I think. They, uh, oh, are they the people who wrote the song that's like, Hello, Darkness, my old friend. friend. Yeah, they also did Cecilia. Uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Earthquake? No, I Earthquake, you Ice Fang. That's what I thought. Because you won't outspeed my neck trick, whereas I think I do. I am wrong. How fast is my neck trick? I know I commented on this before, but Manectric continues to be such a weird Pokemon because, like, I couldn't have told you, like, anything about its design while still remembering everything about its design. How is it outspeeding me? This Manectric must be, like, max speed. Because I'm max speed. Well, at least I hit Garchomp. Um, I am faster than Garchomp, which means that your Salamence is faster than Garchomp, which is a good, a good thing. So you can just take it out before it does anything horrific. Hopefully. An trick is just so eh. Have you looked at its stats lately? Oh my god. Why is it here? In battle 43. Maynectric was in like a previous battle too. Maynectric keeps showing up and it's not good. It's really why? bad. I mean it's taking out your Gyarados. Maybe that's why they're doing it. Just like, look, it, it beats Gyarados every time. 
Shift tree. Okay, so we know I take out Garchomp, so I guess you just focus on Shift tree. With like Aerialist. Because like I crush Garchomp right here. Yeah, Manectric is outclassed by Electabuzz. Yeah, I'll, I'll aerially shift me. Uh, okay, that Sucker Punch is gonna do beans. But sometimes you just gotta be a shifter. That, to be fair, was that not did more that than I expected. Little. Yeah, that. <sighs> I hate that furry thing. Are you talking about me? <laughs> See, that furry thing. That's what my friends call me. I'm on the other side, Shiftry. Um, no one calls you that. You don't need to call me ever having no friends. Shiftry is uh, its based on a Tengu. Mav, you seem like you're enough of a weeb to know what those are. Last year done, I'm locked into Earthquake. Perfection. Still sucks. Shiftry, I like Shiftry, right? But Shiftry, I feel, has like no fans. Like, I like it, but I'm not like crazy about it in any way, shape, or form. I just like how weird the line is. Like, it starts as an acorn. Why does it become a goblin? Alright, that battle is pretty straightforward, actually. I'm gonna be really happy if we manage to beat this with... If we I... win and we get two in a row, that would be insane. Not only would that be insane, but with my favorite type and my favorite Pokemon, let's go. You know, I was too harsh on these Pokemon. I actually really like Salamence as well. Our team, our team is actually good. I like, know, I mean, I was another... too harsh when I said they weren't like my favorites because I love Salamence. I don't, but Salamence, I. I like it. Salamence is probably my favorite dragon pseudo. I'd say. Which is like big, because that's most of them. It's it's pretty close. I like a lot of them, don't get me wrong. I think my favorite might actually be High Dragon. I would like I used to love High Dragon. It used to be my favorite as a child, but I I it's definitely grown out of oh god. This this is awful. This matchup. Do you think you one-shot Rhyperior with Waterfall? Yes. Keeping, keeping in mind Solid Rock. And do you think it has a Pasho Berry? With keeping in mind Solid Rock, I'd say I probably do like 75%. Because <sighs> I'm wondering, do I switch into, into Zapdos just now? Because then I can take out Skarmory next turn, but I do not want to do that if there's even a chance of Rhyperior Don't. still being on the field. Earthquake first, okay. or yeah, Earthquake first, I'll Waterfall, those two combined should kill it, and then you switch. Well, it depends on what's our next. It's true, but if we, using Earthquake isn't going to cause any problems, so. Yeah, it's not ever going to switch anything with Earth Eater. Sometimes the Battle Frontier AI makes me question if they can just pull out shit from future generations. Just... <laughs> okay, that was 66%. I was... No, that that wasn't me. That was you. That was me. Maybe our maybe Waterfall would have killed. But it might not have Solid Rock. I said keeping a mind Solid Rock, but it's a 50% oh. chance. Oh, 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 oh. It probably didn't have it then. Yeah, no way. Oh, right, okay. Skarmory's not really doing anything interesting. To be fair, what's it really gonna do? Like, Toxic? Tyrone? Yo, that, that's the username of the person who has the world record in Super Mario Odyssey. It is? Actually, he doesn't. Uh, not anymore. Oh, not anymore? Not anymore. Oop. No. Is it is it now MKK? Sorry, Marco I Untold. Wish. No, actually, I don't wish. I would never want to be... Okay, what are we doing here? I'm just using Earthquake again. Because Porygon Z does a number with its tri-attack. 
And I'd I rather... will waterfall Porygon Zed because I'm assuming you're gonna take out Skarmory with Zapdos. Yeah, I would rather um, I would rather Gliscor get hit with Tri Attack than Zapdos did on the Switch. You know. Oh, Porygon Zed's faster than you. So I definitely made the right call. Still checking Pokemon that are shell adjacent. I almost checked Shedinja. Can Shedinja survive an atomic bomb? Discuss. I am so glad that knocked me out. That is, is perfect. Is it super effective? Well, that's what I mean. Discuss. On the subject of uh, of that, have you actually played Pokemon Uranium? Or do you know anything about it? I know a decent amount about it. I have never played it. But I have read a Let's Play Archive thread. No way it. you've read the same, the orange fluffy sheep screenshot yes, Let's Play. Oh. for sure. <laughs> That's I've my read all of those. That's my experience with Oh my god, I didn't realize there was another human being alive who actually loved screenshot Let's Plays. Okay. Those are... When I was a kid, I used to read those a lot. And... Those are. I read the uranium one. I've I go back and reread it every so often. For years, I've done that. The uranium one is fantastic. He also did so Pokemon good. Reborn, but it never made it to the archive. <gasps> really? That's why I, I know wish about it, was. it. It's it's still up. It is so most things on Can you something. You link it to me. Yeah, I'll link it after this. But most things on something awful get Please. taken down after time, but that didn't. Because it was so huge. It was like a big site wide the, thing. The I'm gonna earthquake this bronzong just to see what happens. Okay. So the funny the funny thing is that I actually I have like the some of the let's play archive threads excuse me, they're just so painfully awful to read because Eat. they're incredibly unfunny because they're full of memes from like 2012 and they're not funny or they're just bad but so, but but that the uranium one was genuinely very entertaining the uranium one is so and funny i i still think the of uranium occasional one was great i still think of occasional things like him describing what toxic does and then being like wait don't we already have the tm for toxic <laughs> Um, yeah. Or my personal favorite is when he's up against an opponent that has like a Ludicolo and a Shiftry. And he's just like, ah, oh, they're stuck with real Pokemon while I have these disgusting bastards from hell. And disgusting bastards from hell is my favorite way of describing any sort of fake mon as a result. I like when he gets the, the chipmunk Pokemon and he calls it Brittany. Because it's, it's an Alvin and the Chipmunks reference. I had no idea that was why that was. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh my god, I just remembered. Because the... there's the, I there's need to the chipettes. That. The chipettes are the female versions of the chipmunks, and it's instead of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, it's Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor. I'm gonna keep it real. The only reason I know that there even are female chipmunks is because of that one meme. Oh. You know the one. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll just go kill myself, I guess. That's cool. That's that's the Whatever. only reason I knew that. That's the only time I've ever heard of them. Okay, what are we doing here? We're just using Earthquake? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you know what? Why ask, right? Like I guess you could use no Waterfall. Thoughts, just click Earthquake. You could use Waterfall on Whiskash, I suppose. Okay, so at the start, I didn't think Gliscar was good enough because it wasn't one-shotting everything in sight, but, like, it it resists hits. And it two-shots everything in sight. It does enough with Gyarados as a friend. This isn't two This is a singles. great lead. This like, is we, doubles. We have, we have not had to send out our other Pokemon very much at all this, at, this yeah. time. We've seen Salamence, like, twice. I think we've seen Zapdos, like, three times, and, and like, at least once... Of those was uh um, No, we've seen Zapdos more because you switched to it voluntarily than because you've lost my score. That was because I was like locked into like say Earthquake and all they had left was a yeah. flying type. Really? Blizzard Whiskash? Alright, Wallace. Chill. <laughs> well, I guess we're seeing uh Zapdos again. 
And possibly Salamence. No way. Not against Whiskash. What if we lose to Blizzard Whiskash? Well, we're not going to lose to Blizzard Whiskash. It's what comes out next that's, that's threatening. Oh my god. Oh, you... or not. That's... I would have preferred that to be the other way around, personally. But you do you. A Licky Licky has curves. That's funny. Well, Licky Licky is, to be fair, incredibly cursed. I like Licky Licky. Licky Licky is one of those Pokemon. Thing that was a bad decision. No, it's like it's like I want to like it so much, but like I could not trust Licky Licky with my credit card. Are there Pokemon you could trust with your credit card? Yeah, like Gliscor wouldn't do anything with my credit card. Like Gliscor would be like, "Oh, can I borrow that for a second? And I'd be like, "Sure." Like you, you need Is to make a purchase you... that we have discussed. Is there a reason why you don't have your face cam on this stream, or are you just... Uh, well, I've changed my entire layout to not incorporate it. The reason- I felt like I can just not for streams with you. I feel very self-conscious having it on all the time, and I've been having some issues with appearance lately. Oh no, because that's so valid. I yeah. was just wondering. It's, it's, a, it's a mental health protection thing, basically. We should put... We should put me on your stream. Oh, true. Where the face cam normally goes. Right, so obviously I'm thunderbolting the shit out of that wall rain. Yeah, and I'm... Earthquake. ...doing nothing. <laughs> like, I'm not, earthquake, sure. I'm not getting hit by another sheer gold. The fact the shadows below the mons are always circles and infuriating. Honestly, you don't notice it very often, I'd say. What it bugs me in is a uh, fire emblem. Because here in Pokemon, they're added after the fact. Those are not actually... The reason they're always circles is because that's not a part of Golduck's sprite. That's added by the game engine underneath Golduck. So to speak. But in Fire Emblem, it's part of the sprite, and it is ugly as hell when the sprites are ripped as a result. But yeah, no, don't worry. I didn't just forget. I made the conscious decision to just not put my webcam on today, because... I don't know, I've, I've just felt very pressured into putting it on a lot recently, because I felt like it makes less people show up, which, you know, is not wrong. But, eh, sometimes... I don't, I don't, I think that is wrong. You think so? Uh, I don't think less people show up if you have your face cam on. No, other way around. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> really? No, block. I, I, like, th I think you, you got actually it. Actually, think that? I think you got it with Cloyster. I think it was Cloyster. You don't need to or keep going. Or Clam Pearl. Does Clam Pearl's thing have a thing about how it survives atomic blasts? Oh no, it's it's Cloyster. It is Cloyster. It's, Cloyster. it's totally Cloyster. Yeah. Yeah, its shell can survive an atom bomb. It's totally cloister. Yeah, it's absolutely cloister. Or shelter. It might be shelter, but I think it's cloister. Definitely cloister. It might be from the anime. It might be like the Pokedex says, like, its shell can survive an atom bomb. You know? They don't really mention atom bombs in Japan. In the Gen 1 anime, they would. The Gen 1 anime is. A free for all. Oh my god, it's Freddy like the Fazbear. Okay, so I'm getting an odd sense of deja vu. Okay, what do I what do I do here? What do you do here? What do we do here? Flygon. Do you Ice Fang Flygon? Do I Ice Fang Flygon? I'll Ice Fang Flygon, you Earthquake. Earthquake. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to do now. I don't have anything to contribute. You are allowed to just watch. Like, you don't need to... You don't need to make great, like, advancements in... You know what I mean? Like, you're allowed to just vibe. Advancements in stream chattery? Yeah, like, you can just have a good time. That's okay. That's allowed. I allow that. Oh my god, Earthquake did nothing. You do? Really? Earthquake did beans. If this knocks you out with a crit. I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, cool. You shouldn't have said that before it happened. 
Let's share ID numbers. I have an idea. Let's share credit card numbers. I don't have a credit card, so you're free to go. Neither do I. Yeah, who who has a credit card in like this day and age? I have a debit card. Yeah, I have a debit card, but who has a credit card, like unironically? My parents keep telling me that I need to get a credit card so I can start getting credit. Cause America moment. Well, that might be an America moment. I'm not actually. Nah, sure. that's a worldwide thing. Yeah. It's like what we were always told in school is that you should get a credit card, you should pay for things with your credit card, and then you should immediately pay them off. Oh my god, Swords Dance Gyarados, new meta. I'm not gonna lie, this Lumberry has actually helped a lot. Yeah, if we both just use Earthquake, we take these guys out easy. I'm only asking you to use Earthquake because I'm not confident that I will take out Drapion, otherwise obviously Waterfall would be the better shot, but the fact that that Umbreon just gave you a Swords Dance is wacky. Yeah. Wow, it's I, like... did, I did take a Drapion. Who's the superior Scorpion? Bitch. I don't know how to feel about the data breach that's going on in chat right now. Does, does... Seven, four, four, four. I only have four. <laughs> My ID number is four. I was the fourth human. Actually, that makes a lot of sense with Mav. Can I just say that I love the even Why line is Mav of Mav old? No, Mav is just confusing. Oh, okay. I, I love the even line of fours that goes all the way down. I'm actually gonna switch because you easily KO Umbreon here. Um and I don't no. want to be locked into Earthquake in case you think? in case it's I wonder uh, if Earthquake will kill this Umbreon. Well you should just use waterfall, I guess, but up to you really. Whatever floats your boat. I don't think it ma Question. matters that much. Is Zapdos actually eating up your Earthquake PP with pressure? Because it is hitting Zapdos, you know what I mean? We will find out this turn. Yeah. Do you know how much Earthquake you had? <laughs> uh, I hadn't You? No, I used it once. I made the right call. Oh, I'm I'm so genius. Oh, let her cook. You used it twice, I thought. But okay. How much you got? 13. So no? So, no. No, wait, hold Let's on. Let's look on Bulbapedia. Special Crobat, by the way. What does PP stand for? PP stands for Power Points. Oh, you got it, Mav. I'm so proud of you. Got it before I even had a chance to say it. Nope. It affects allies in Gen 4. So you did only use it twice. Okay. It, oh. you, it affects allies in Gen 4, but it... Nope. It does apply to move that target the entire field. They changed it in Gen 5 to only affect opponent's moves. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure I only used I only used Earthquake once, because I used it on the first turn, and then I used it a second time with Zapdos out. I did only use it once. Okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. I'm so proud of you, Mav. You have no idea. Oh, it's this guy again who plays anything. We just had this guitarist. Guitarist Bentley, or whatever he was called. This is an interesting factoid. Eh? Pressure increases the PP consumption of spikes, stealth rock, and toxic spikes, but not sticky web. I didn't know it. That's weird. And apparently in Gen 5, there are two self-targeting moves that pressure increases the PP consumption of. Do you uh, want to try and guess what they are? Acupressure? Nope. Self-targeting pressure increase... Self-targeting as in if you have pressure, or if, as in if the opponent has pressure? Self-targeting as in if the opponent uses the move, the move is self-targeting, but if you have pressure and your opponent uses it, it will decrease their PP. Um, Extra. Metaco and counter? No. I don't know that. What am I doing here? Just... Imprison and snatch. Just earthquake, I guess. Yeah, I just earthquake. <laughs> they are imprison and snatch. 
Imprison is a self-targeting move? I guess it is. Yep. I just would have thought of it as targeting the field, but I guess it is. Yeah, it, it is locked to the user, huh? Clock, why did you keep going? Wait, wait pressure has the same thing. It, it increases the levels of... Or it... it yeah. It has a higher chance of giving you higher level wild Pokemon. Yeah, it does the same thing as Hustle and Vital Spirit. Hustle and Vital Spirit, yeah. Yes, I am very aware that both Hustle and Vital Spirit do it, because let me tell you, it makes a makes Delibar being your starter just so fucking fun. I can't believe that Starmie just one-shot you, by the way. I can, it's Starmie. With Power Jam? You know Starmie is, Starmie is used as the main in speedruns of Let's Go. What, why? Because it's good. What battle is this? This is battle 47 block. Thank you for cursing yeah, we're if I almost ask done. it. Yeah, we're almost done. We're, well, we're, we've almost won. We've almost won. We're this was close. so uneventful. <laughs> this is like, this was less eventful than the psychic type one. Yeah, so there, far. We, there we actually struggled through a couple of battles. Do I like Dragon Claw Star? Uh, uh, no. No, I outspeed and Chaos Star me. We're good. We're good. Also, I outspeed you, so. Oh, that's true. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, because my Salamis is Jolly, so... Which means I think it speed ties my Zapdos, right? Because they both have base 100 speed. Maybe? Pretty sure they do. Is your Zapdos Jolly? No, because that would be stupid of me. It's timid. Oh, it's timid. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I meant does it have a plus speed nature, but my brain. Is Gliscor looking uh, at us? No, Gliscor just has really weird pupils that the sprite artists did not figure out in Gen 4 at all. They didn't really know what they were doing with Gliscor's eyes in Gen 4. Speaking of Gliscor, I never asked how Danielle was doing. Uh, she is an absolute monster, as you could probably imagine. Pretty much the first thing I did was uh, I went and I grabbed the Earthquake TM, because I'd never picked it up before. If you take out Altaria, I easily take out Houndoom. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'd never bothered grabbing the Earthquake TM before, so I went and I grabbed that. And I had a bunch of money, so I just maxed out her attack and speed. Um, EVs. <laughs> with vitamins, and she's just living her best life. She crushes all in her path. But as well as that, hear. So I, I gave her Earthquake, and I didn't have a flying move to give her, if I recall correctly. So she has Earthquake, Rock Slide, Ice Fang, and then... Crab Hammer? And then, yeah, and then she learned Crab Hammer, and I was like, oh my god, that can go over x Scissor. Because I got so excited, I was like, oh my god, my favourite Pokemon learned one of my favourite moves? That is so cool. I remember you talking about that in Discord. Yeah. I haven't actually played more of the DLC, I keep wanting to, but I'm focusing so hard on um, finishing this video. Because this, this one's going to be my big break, you understand? It's well worth the hundreds of hours of work I put into it. It will not only get, like, 12 views and 3 dislikes, I promise. Which video is this? Uh, this is um, me beating Pokemon Scarlet using only Metronome. No, oh, I'll watch it. It's a film. <laughs> it's an hour and a half long, because Pokemon Scarlet has... Uh, you know, like, 18 gem badges. I'll watch it. Are you going to make a video on the Synchronoise playthrough? I am going to do one better. I'm going to go back to the Synchronoise video. Uh, to the Synchronoise, to the Synchronoise run. I'm going back to that. <laughs> Are you doing it again? Uh, we're just going to continue on with the file I left off on. Oh, you didn't finish it? I thought you finished it. <laughs> Not even remotely. It, it burned me out. It was miserable. Um, well, I, th I think you just Waterfall Gliscor here, right? Do I Waterfall or Ice Fang? I'm thinking it'll have a Yachi Berry. You know what? I'm Waterfalling because Ice Fang can miss. I'm not risking that. Yeah. Too late in the game to risk Ice Fang. This is... This Earth setting is definitely the, uh... The Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Hammer Arm one. Block, we already discussed what the video was in the last stream. I'm sorry, it's already been spoiled for you, and it's coming out in, like, four days. Ish. I did half. You are far more committed to your deadlines than I am. I would be like, it's coming out soon. No way. I All was right. like, do Good. not do this to I'm me. I'm glad there's no way. Because that 
is my favorite move, and that would have been horrendous. But do you say guillotine or guillotine? I say guillotine because I'm a real human being. Yeah. <laughs> I, like you, am a real human <laughs> being. The turn does not KO thanks to that Intimidate. The turn... I don't know if it would KO anyway. No. Not even not remotely, but, but like, yeah, thanks to Intimidate. Our string is actually a really solid Pokemon that I've never... This is fucking quick claw or something. <laughs> What do you mean, is this Quick Claw or something? Why wouldn't you give your Earth Ring a Quick Claw? Bruh. I remember in middle school, I had an argument with someone about whether the Pokemon move was Giga Impact or Giga Impact. It's... I was like, it's Giga Impact. Like, that's how it's pronounced. Giga Drain. Giga Drain. It's funny because now in my in my old age, I'm the type of person who believes that it, you can't actually pronounce things incorrectly. But that pronouncing things the way other people do is worth doing literally just for the reason that people will give you shit for it. I'm actually kind of sad it missed that guillotine because I wouldn't have minded seeing it. Like, if your Gyarados already only has like 2 HP, you know what I mean? It would be funny if it guillotined my Gyarados with like 20 health left. Yeah, it's probably less than 20. Alright, I be stretching. I just stretched before the stretch re reward was redeemed. Oh, Probo Pass However, is already. I Probo Pass is just kind of a Oh my oh my Shinderu Like it's already dead As soon as it entered the field with Choice Band Earthquake on it Alright uh, Anyway I have the controversial opinion possibly That it's It's just normalized society That's like socially acceptable to be rude When someone mispronounces something in a conversation Like I the, I've never seen the this the circumstance in which people get interrupted the most is if they misspeak or mispronounce something and then people interrupt them to make fun of them. I don't like it. I think it's really annoying. Oh, that earthquake he did so much damage. Yeah, exactly. Is it so much damage? I, I, I think you probably know this about me because I think I've probably told you. But I absolutely hate it when I misspeak and people make fun of me for it. It's like you knew what I meant. Yeah, but come on, guillotine. Yeah, I I swear I've heard people say guillotine. That is 48 yeah. battles won, by the way. Where was the difficulty? Are we just getting better at team building? Wait, was that 49 or 48? That 40, was 48, 48 right? 48, one left. Yeah. Well, this is going to be the boss battle. It's just weird because they can bring out legendaries. Like, we're not cheating by bringing in Zapdos. Yes. They can have they, Zapdos. They can, have, they can have legendaries. They can have, um, let's see. They, I'm, can, have... they can have Keytran, Cresselia, Regigigas, Latios, Latias, the legendary golems, the legendary dogs, the legendary birds. They can have, like, every legendary that was available to this point besides the legendaries that are banned. They can have Salamence, Tyranitar, um... But all they ever have is Garchomp. There's only ever one Garchomp yeah. every time. They have Garchomps, but they can have Cresselia and Regigigas and... Okay, Regigigas stuff. is terrible, to be fair. Okay, yes, but Regigigas is still... Oh, there's Regigigas a legendary! Is so powerful. <laughs> there's oh. one! <laughs> oh. Regigigas is terrible, but its defenses are still good. Like, it's still hard to take it out. Okay, but like... It's a Moltres, and it's facing off against a Gyarados, so... I was actually going to go for Rock Slide, to be quite honest. I was going to say, let's let's go for Machamp, because it's probably Don't you more use a white dangerous. Herb? Oh, okay, so it's got Overheat. Yeah, but... I, well, Machamp I want a Rock Slide, and then you can, and you can take on Machamp, then. I, I want Moltres gone. I just want it gone. Yeah, but... I don't want to give it a chance. This is a no-guard Machamp. There's probably a Machamp with a no guard move set, but it's like 50 50 to just have guts and be bad. <laughs> Dynamic Punch Guts Machamp. It would be great if Confusion. Or if. No, never mind. I, 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 I wasn't cooking. I think they should. I would like to see an edit of Machamp Sprite where you just remove the back arms and it just looks like some guy. That. It's a really funny idea. I'm trying Maybe to look at it that. in my head, and I don't like it. It's so boring. 
But look, what if let, I just do that? Let that like, be proof that they can have legendary Pokemon for like yeah. the last 14 but Look, I'm look, I was look! Like, okay, this is gonna be another legendary! <laughs> and it was! I was right! They can have them! All right, so Earthquake then? Well, I have to Rock Slide, I'm locked. I guess I'll just Earthquake. I don't know if I can do anything better than Earthquake. Look, we're not crazy. We promise. They can have legendaries. They, Look, it's there. They've been able it's to have legendaries screen. for the last 14 battles. I don't know where they've been. That didn't even do half. Regice is a think, beast. I think it's possible that it gets... It gets a... It becomes a higher and higher chance with each battle. Yeah, but when we loaded it in but today at Battle sure. 50, it was Machamp and Flareon. Like, come on. Flareon. <laughs> Flareon. Its best physical stab is, oh, oops, we didn't give it any. That's true. That, yeah. It doesn't get any until Gen 5, right? Or does it have Fire Fang? B b b bruh. My Gliscor is right there. You are a Reg Ice. <laughs> it's, its name is literally Reg Ice, and it used Thunderbolt on me. That's probably why. It probably used it because it saw a kill, but still. Yeah, but Ice Beam would have easily erased my Gliscor. That's just funny to I me. I think it's because I'm... I'm on the left side, so it checked me first. Did you, uh, did you know that Regice... Either that or it's random, I don't think it's random. Did you know that Regice is the second best, um, ice type Reggie? After... Oh my god! <laughs> this was the boss battle! I was right. <laughs> Alright, I guess you just Earthquake, right? It's the second best ice type Reggie after what? Like Regi Reggie Reggie Steel hack to be ice type? Regilecki. Regilecki with um Terra Ice. Which is so good that it was banned to Ubers, like instantly. Why is Regilecki with Terra Ice so good? Because it gets both like, coverage. Terra ice. Oh. And Regilecki was a Pokemon that was quote unquote balanced around the fact that it has um like no coverage. Yeah, Regilecki and balanced belong in the same sentence, totally. I cannot believe this was a boss fight right at the end. Like we had a be fair, fucking Manek trick a few battles ago. To be fair, it was a good it was a good way to, to end things off. Oh yeah, it was a good finale. And also, hey, 49 battles. Can you believe it? Twice in a we row. We did it again! We did it again! We did it again! It took longer this time because of all the intimidates. Oh, we win these! It took like an extra half an hour. <laughs> Dead ass because of the intimidates. We win these. We win these. Let's go. This one was the thing that happened. Yeah, I I never even... We, we hardly even saw Zapdos or Salamence. And that's crazy because Gliscor and Gyarados are not like, like okay, Gyarados is strong. Don't get me wrong, but they're not like crazy Pokemon. They both have four times oh, no. weaknesses. Uh, I will save that just because it was funny. That's my save battle video. I think mine is still the finale from last time because it was so crazy with the Frost Last that almost killed us, but yeah. then we got a lucky hit on it through Snowcloak. Should we battle again and then immediately forfeit, just so that we've got it set up for next time? Uh... Yeah, sure, let's let's do that, why not? Okay. They're both I'm worried that freeze, might mess up, true. that might make it so it says we have a streak of 50, but I don't really know why that would matter, so... Doesn't matter at all, we, we did 49 battles. Not in the, like, the Battle Frontier streak counter is not relevant to us, so... No. That well, was... I guess it's time to update that pin message in the Pokemon channel. That was awesome. We just that was so awesome. Do that real quick. What was awesome? That we that we did it twice in a row. That's so cool. Oh, oh my god. Wait, look at the Pokemon channel. So <laughs> somebody made the Machamp edit. <laughs> in the oh block, thank you so much. The fact that we did it twice in a row is in a, in a row is great. I'm really I'm I'm chuffed about that. Yeah. Well chuffed. Did I do it right? You did, you did. You used chuffed correctly. 
I don't think chuffed is a thing I say, but my dad used to say it. That's Freddy again, like the like the, the Fazbear. And we're back to not using legendary. Um, we're back to complete crap. The actual jump from Moltres to Toxicroak is like insane. Gyarados, Salamence, Gliscor, Gliscor, and Zapdos. I okay. Can I just rant at I you heard really quickly? Say Gliscor. Right, but let me rant at you. It's Gliscor because it glides. It's a no 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 no. Let me rant at you right now. How do you say it's pre-evolution? Glygar. Yeah, you say Gly. Because you wouldn't. Some people probably say. No, they don't. No, they don't. They. No, they don't. No, they don't. Do they? That. I don't even want to say it that way because it sounds. Exactly. Like so there's no excuse for Gliscor. <laughs> Would you like to play with Lottie again? No. No. I need to put these guys into the uh, into the champion box. Oh yeah, I forgot you have one of those. I just. Don't... You just delete them. <laughs> no, I I actually I just um I dumped them in the uh in the box. Well, why is this? Box. Why is this? Why is the music so loud out here? I have done nothing to the music, but it gets like ten times as loud when you leave the battle facility. Yes, that's weird. We win! Yay! All right, I've turned it down. You know what? Whatever. No one's here, and I'm just ending stream anyway. Okay. Are we ending stream or? Um, I'm quite happy with it having been four and a half hours, and I have not okay. I have not set up. Cool. The... If we uh, once we roll bug, we can do Terraria after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might play some Terraria at some point quite soon though. I need more male Pokemon. I keep making them all. Female. I mean, if you play it off stream, I will definitely join, assuming I'm able to. Yeah, I I I want to play it. After I am done with the Metron video, I want to get back in there and build some stuff. Okay, I sent you the the defensive coverage of my team just so I have a screenshot of it. Okay, awesome. Um, will you send me the 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 something awful thread? Yes, I will. I will. I will. Thank you for reminding me. All right, so that is that is stream done. Would you? Would you care to say farewell? I suppose not. <laughs> Accidentally turned off my computer in all caps. Ha okay. Well, uh, that is goodbye from MKK. That is a serious goodbye, in fact. That is so much goodbye, you can't even comprehend it. And that is goodbye from me, that is goodbye from Guinea Lottie. Thank you for the links, Block. I don't think they'll be needed today, but thank you for the links. Farewell to all of you. Have a nice night. And also farewell to you, my little Vodbure. <laughs>